And we are live from New York, New York. Hello, everybody who is in the building. Hello, everyone. We are glad to be here tonight and hope that you guys will join us for the World Coin Auction. 30 items on tonight's auction. And we are hoping to have plenty of giveaways at the end of the stream. What's going on? Brad Burge is in the building. Good to see you, Brad. Kaysen 2006 is here. Henry V, good to see you, brother. Guys, we have 30 items tonight. Normally, we have 35, but today it will be somewhat of an abbreviated auction. Now, if we fly through this auction list, and we may add a couple of more items at the end, but we have 30 items, and you can find each and every item listed in the description of this video just in case the link isn't working. Once again, guys, we have uh, three jackpot prizes tonight, and each of them will be a Christmas bag. So we did have Christmas uh, gift bags on last Tuesday's or this past Tuesday's live stream. And tonight, we will be giving away three more Christmas gift bags for the end of stream giveaway. Now, we did add a little something extra into the gift bags this time around. So let's take a look here. What's going on, Rafe? Rafe is in the building. Good to see you, brother. So this is what we have here inside the Christmas-themed gift bag. We have a one-ounce copper reindeer. We also, if we take this out and flip it around, you will see that there is a one gram Geiger silver square as well. So the one ounce copper, the one gram Geiger, and we have the brand new Saka Plata magnets available on tonight's stream. So we will be giving away three of these Christmas gift bags at the end of the stream. And there are three ways to enter tonight's jackpot giveaway. Number one is for every auction item that you win tonight, you will receive one entry into the jackpot. For every in-chat game that you win, you will receive one entry into the jackpot. And if your name is pulled via the random comment picker, you will gain one entry into the jackpot. What's going on? Daniel D'Ambrosio's in the building. Cam's Collectibles is in the house. Thank you so much for joining me. Herb Ash is in the building. Good to see you, Herb. KC Edgar's here. Reese is in the building. Mr. Nilbar. Shout out to Mr. Nilbar for the mail call. Thank you so much for that, brother. I do appreciate it. And I am happy that you like the coinage that you received on the previous auction. What's going on? Sean47. Good to see you, Sean. I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday so far. It has been a very rapid fire week, but we are here tonight on Freaky Friday. Scott Jarvie's in the building. Great Scott. Wesley Kester's in the house. Addicted to stacks. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. We have a fun-filled stream for you. And once again, guys, if you just joined us, we will be giving away three Christmas gift bags at the end of the stream. Uh, once again, inside those gift bags are a one ounce copper, a one gram Geiger, and a brand new Saka Plata magnet. A big shout out goes to uh, Flatline Racer who designed the logos. Now, the logo is not new. We've had this logo for quite some time. However, I absolutely love this logo. So shout out goes to Flatline Racer. If you need a logo or a uh, thumbnail, 
You can reach out to Flatline Racer. You could also reach out to EMP. Shout out to EMP before the stream. He actually uh, messaged me. He said, look, I got something for you. He sent it, and it was a thumbnail of this beautiful, beautiful Libra Tad that will be up wraps tonight. So shout out to EMP. Thank you so much for the surprise. It was very, very uh, cool and a very look, uh, nice looking uh, thumbnail. So thank you for that, EMP. And Aunt Bray is in the building. Dennis Stewart is here. Patriot Stacker is in the building. Chris B. Chris B says, magnets are awesome. Stick on the safes safely. That's right, Chris. Uh, it definitely beats having a sticker being put on something that you don't want damaged. And that's a big, with my uh, personal soccer plot, the jackpot box, uh, you know, I instantly wanted to throw a bunch of channel stickers on there, but it would definitely destroy the uh, finish of the wood. So magnets are great, especially for safe. So that's something that I may have to look into as well. Great idea, Chris B. And Sparkle Flares in the building. Good to see you, Sparkle. Dreadpool is here. So the comment video can be found in the description of this video. It is following the auction list. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see all 30 items listed in the video. And after the auction items, you'll see the stream giveaway comment video link. Uh, we will be using that to draw random comment picker entries into the jackpot. Aaron's in the building. What's going on, brother? Hope all is well. Rahilio is here. And Dennis says, read my comment. Let's take a look. Let's see, Dennis. Dennis says, hello, Sakaplata and chat. Let's add a couple of copper rounds to the jackpot. Boom! Dennis Stewart has just uh, upgraded the jackpot to five prizes tonight. And if you guys were here on last Friday's auction, we broke a record for the most jackpot prizes on the Sakaplata channel. It was previously 15 we ended with, I believe, 18 jackpot prizes. But, guys, it didn't even stop there because uh, Sharp Eye and Steeler Stacker wanted to sponsor a couple of giveaways after the jackpot. So it turned out that there were 20 uh, giveaways on last Friday's auction, which is a record. A lot of generosity shown, and I really do appreciate that. What's going on, Maria? Maria's in the building. Good to see you, Maria. And we have... Let's see who's here. I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Aloha, Stacker. Aloha. Thank you for joining us. The Saint is here. All right, guys. So we're going to pull out two copper rounds, courtesy of Dennis Stewart. And uh, we'll add that to the jackpot. And then we'll get started shortly. Uh, if you guys have yet to comment on the comment video, please do so, because we will be using the random comment picker to select some early bird entries. All right, shout out to Dennis Stewart. All right, here we go, Dennis. We have a one ounce copper bald eagle. USA. This is jackpot prize number four. And this is courtesy of Dennis Stewart. And we also have a one ounce copper panda, 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 panda. Also courtesy of our good friend Dennis Stewart. So that will bring the jackpot to five separate prizes. And we also have three Christmas gift bags, each containing a one ounce copper uh, Christmas reindeer and a one gram Geiger silver square. And you will also receive a brand new Sakaplata magnet. And uh, I love the design. Shout out to Flatline Racer for the design. And uh, Dennis Stewart, once again, thank you so much for that. All right, let's uh, have a seat here and pull up the random comment picker. What's going on, Hidden? Good to see you, brother. 
Let's see here. Did you have any Utah Goldbacks a few streams ago, or was it just Nevada? So, Cam, we have a bunch of Goldbacks constantly on the stream. Usually it toggles back and forth from Utah to Nevada. If we're doing an auction, I like to keep it on one uh, specific uh, state. So, for instance, if the Nevada Goldback is on the uh, auction list, then uh, the Utah Goldback would not be on the uh, auction list. However, sometimes at the end of the stream, we'll pull out some additional items and, uh, you know, it may be possible that Utah and Nevada goldbacks uh, are dispersed in the, uh, let's see here. Cam says, gotcha, got mine. It was from Nevada. Was hoping to get a Utah one next. Well, tonight we have a Utah goldback up for grabs. That is item number four. And I love the, the goldbacks myself. Uh, not only because it's a great way to uh, uh, add some gold, some fractional gold to your stack, it is very conveniently, uh, you know, it, it does not take up much space in the household. So uh, that's another great reason uh, to collect gold bags. What's going on? Peter's in the building. Good to see you, Peter. How are you? It has been quite a while, but it's always great when you join us on stream. So thank you for that, Peter. I hope you're, you're doing well. And uh, did I miss anyone? Hopefully I didn't miss anyone. Rockin' Roots is here. So Rockin' Roots is experiencing some lag. So hopefully uh, we can get through the stream. Lag free is the way to be. But sometimes it does happen, especially with the remote learning increase. What's going on? Rebel Stacker is in the building. Rebel, I actually was looking to reach out to you. You still have an active wallet on the channel. You have some items in there as well. So if you want me to send them out, you can always reach out to me at SockaBlopperNY at gmail.com. Good to see you, Rebel. Hope all is well. All right, we're going to get started here. Let's pull up the random comment picker, and we're going to select three names here to get us started before we get into the auction list. So here we go, three names, and if we have uh, multiple winners, if your name is drawn more than once, you will gain additional entries. However, we will continue to pull uh, to get more people in the jackpot. So here we go, guys. Good luck. Hidden says, this random comment picker does not like me. And Rahilio, Rahilio, you have just gained one entry into the jackpot. Congratulations. And let's pull two more names here. What's going on? Rita's in the building. Good to see you, Rita. And K says, let's get this ball rolling. K, you have just gained one entry into the jackpot. And we're going to pull one more name here. Rafe Ailman. So, Rafe, you will get the last entry. You know what? Let's pull two more names here. Let's just pull two more names. And Rahilio, you get a second entry into the jackpot. So Rahilio, let's get your entries down so that we can make sure you get two separate entries. This is number 36 and number 67 for Rahilio. All right, let's refresh. We're going to pull. And Scott Jarvey, Scott Jarvey, you will gain one entry into the jackpot. And we'll do one more, guys. Sparkle Flare. Congratulations, Sparkle Flare. You have just gained entry into the jackpot. Aloha says, we all know where Helio is your cousin, my cousin from another mother's sister. I don't know if that makes sense, but if it does, that was some brain scrambling there some quick thinking on my part <laughs> all right so rahelio you have gained entry number 36 and number 67 k you will gain number entry uh number entry entry number 70 and rafe you will gain entry number 93 Scott Jarvey, you will gain entry number 76. And Sparkle Flare, you will gain entry number 32, which would normally represent an auction item, but we have 30 items on the list tonight instead of the usual 35. 
but if we have time, we will pull a couple of more items. So uh, let's add these into the jackpot, shall we? And they are in there. And as always, we will enter some jackpot entries that will represent each auction item. There are 30 auction items tonight, so we will enter 30 entries that represent those items. So here we go. 1 through 10. 11 through 20. And 21 through 30. There we have it. All right, guys. So we're going to get started here. Now, I didn't have the appetizer, entree, or dessert uh, separated here just to get everything on one sheet of paper. But we're going to start with the entrees, and we'll work our way up as we go forward. If you are new to the auction, you must be registered to participate. The way to register is to send a $1 refundable verification payment to SockerBlopperNY at gmail.com. And the reason for that is to verify that you have a PayPal account and that you are of age to participate. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Uh, shipping is $4 for five ounces or less, uh, $8 for six ounces or more. All right, let's get started. Dennis Stewart has the lot number one in chat. It is a one ounce there here copper round. And these are very cool. Kind of like a proof flag finish for... Uh, as you can see there in the background, it's pretty cool. Some nice detail on it as well. We'll start the bidding here as $1. We have Hidden at 1. Collective Chris kicking in the door at a $2 bid. Hidden at 3. Collective Chris at 3.5. We have Rafe at 5 now. Rafe at 5. Looking for 6.6. Six. Do we have 6? Sean says, what if you buy 5.5 ounces? Well, that's what we call a loophole. <laughs> What's going on, AC? Ozzy Carver's in the building. We have Scott Jarvie at six. Rogelio says, any Eagles today? Oh, yes, we have at least three Eagles. Three Eagles on the auction list, and we will have more after the auction if time permits. So Scott Jarvie's at six. Going once. Going Twice now. We have Addicted to Stacks with a sniper alert. Up for cover. Addicted at six and a half. The first snipe of the night. Make sure you stretch out, guys. We don't want to pull any hamstrings. We want to make sure we don't get any stingers in the neck. Make sure you guys are loose and ready because it is Sniper City on Friday nights. What's going on? George Kimmel's in the building. Good to see you, George. And Sean, 47, coming in at 7. AC, coming in at 8 now. We have AC at 8. Looking for 9, 9. Do we have 9? And we only have one of these available tonight. So the winner will take that home. We have AC at 8. Going once. Going Twice now. AC at eight. Oh, and sniper alert. Addicted to stacks coming in at eight and a half now. Addicted at eight and a half. What's going on? Tony Murphy's in the building. Good to see you, brother. Hope all is well. We have Stack and Skier joining us once again. Thank you for joining us. We had you on the uh, stream last week as well, and appreciate you coming back. We have addicted to stacks at eight and a half. Going once. Going twice now. Addicted at eight and a half. All in. All out. Last call. And. So, two addicted to stacks for eight and a half. Congratulations, addicted. You get the there here, one ounce area 51 copper round. Oh, and LAP came in at the end. I am so sorry, LAP. You just missed it. 
LAP with the sniper tap. Let's take a look at the instant replay here. So we have the soul to addicted and then LAP with the $9 bid. I do apologize, LAP. But addicted to stacks, congratulations. You will get one entry into the jackpot, which has five prizes tonight, three of which are going to be Christmas gift bags. We have one ounce copper rounds and one gram Geigers in each bag. And we have a soccer plot magnet in each bag as well. So we uh, juiced up the, uh, the Christmas gift bags tonight. And uh, congratulations, Addicted. You will get the first entry. That is entry number one. And that's eight and a half for Addicted. And addicted, we're gonna add that to your wallet. Addicted to stacks. By the way, addicted, how are you feeling? I hope you're uh, feeling better. Addicted had a nasty accident not too long ago. Sean says, "Can I just bid on a magnet?" Well, I do appreciate that, Sean. Now, if you want to make a super chat donation to the channel or something like that, we will definitely send. Uh, uh, thank you your way as far as a magnet or or uh, something specific. Maybe it's a sticker that you need in your collection. Uh, but thank you for for uh, offering that, Sean. That's that's very cool of you. All right, so let's take a look here. Item number two is a BU 1976 S Bicentennial 40% silver Washington quarter and guys take a look at the condition of this one here starting bid is one dollar collective chris taking it to six and i tell you what a nice strike on this one i'm not seeing any indication of something that would compromise a nice grade here we have sean at nine Henry at 10, just edging out Rahilio. Thank you so much for that, Addicted. We have Henry at 10. Look at 11, 11. Do we have 11? So I'm trying to look for any indication of any scratching or, uh, oh, maybe. The, okay, so we see a slight little hairline scratch on the neck. Very slight there but other than that we're looking at a nice quality uh bicentennial silver quarter here we have henry at 10 going once going twice now henry at 10 oh then all out. Last call. And sold to Henry for $10. Congratulations, Henry. Look at the condition of this bicentennial silver quarter. You really can't ask for much more. Congratulations, Henry. You get it for 10 bucks. And we will add that to your wallet. You will receive jackpot entry number two. So let's add this to Henry's wallet. A very nice looking bicentennial silver quarter. And it is in there. All right. Next up, item number three is a pair of one gram Valcambi Swiss silver bars. Now, these are still connected and intact, but we're looking at two one gram Valcambi Swiss silver bars. Starting bid here is $1. And in fact, we have 11 $1 starting bid items on tonight's stream, and most of which are uh, under the $25 price point. So 26 out of the 30 items have a starting bid of 25 or less. 
And we have Rahilio at 9. Hidden at 11. We have Hidden at 11. Looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12? For the pair of Valcambi Swiss. And Rahilio coming back at 12 now. Rahilio at 12. Looking for 13, 13. Do we have 13? This is item number three. Rahilio at 12. Going once. And Mr. Nilbar coming in at 13 now. Mr. Nilbar at 13, looking for 14. And just to compare, let's put a Merc Dime right alongside so you guys can see the size comparison here. We have Rahelio at 14 now. Rahelio at 14, looking for 15, 15. Do we have 15? Maximus Silver Stackers in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. So Maximus is doing a weekly silver giveaway. I believe it starts every Friday. Correct me if I'm wrong, Maximus, but guys, hop over this channel, and let's help him get to 1K while we're at it. He's getting closer. We have Rahelio at 14, going... Once going twice now. All in, all out. Last call and so to Rahilio for $14. Congratulations, Rahilio. That is $14 for the pair of one gram Valcambi Swiss silver bars. You will receive jackpot entry number three. That makes three entries for Rahilio already. So you are the front runner in entries, and the percentage is in your favor at the moment. So, Rahilio, good luck. All right. And shout out to Maximus, who uh, had his 800 to 900 uh, subscriber giveaway uh, last night. Gave away a lot of items to our fellow community members. So a big shout out goes to Maximus for that. And there's the link. He just posted the link to his uh, weekly silver giveaway. All right, U.S. Silver Stackers in the building. Good to see you, U.S. All right, here we go. We're going to move on to item number four out of 30 items tonight. Item number four is a one Utah gold back. Face reveal, face reveal. A one Utah gold back. This is one one thousandth of an ounce of pure gold. And the starting bid is $1. We have Cam at four. Dreadpool taking it to five now. Dreadpool at five. Looking for six, six. Do we have six? Mr. Nilbar at six. Cam bringing it to seven now. Cam at seven. Looking for eight, eight. Do we have eight? Cam at seven. Looking for eight for the one Utah gold back. Great way to stack gold at an affordable price. We have Sean coming in at 8, Cam firing back at 9, Cam at 9, looking for 10, 10, do we have 10? Going once. Going twice now. We have Cam at 9. And Rita coming in with a sniper alert back for cover. Rita at 10 now. Rita, the league leader in snipes. And Rockin' Roots coming in at 11. Rockin' Roots getting in on the action at 11. Looking for 12. 12. Do we have 12? What's going on? Metal Detecting UK is in the building. Thank you for joining us. It is Freaky Friday night here. We are getting started. We are up to item number four, and we have Rockin' Roots at 11. Going once. Going twice now. All in. 
Sniper alert up for cover. Cam coming in at 12 from the clock tower. It is Sniper City already. We are only up to item number four, and we've had 17,000 snipes tonight. We have Cam at 12 for the one Utah Goldback. Going once. Going twice now. Cam at 12. All in. All out. And Rockin' Roots with a sniper alert up for cover. Rockin' Roots at 13. It's a battle royal here for the one Utah Goldback. Dennis says, I think it's only been 16,000 snipes. I'm sorry about that, Dennis. Thank you for the correction. We may have to uh, uh, take a look at the instant replay on that one. <laughs> we have Rockin' Roots at 13 now for the one Utah Goldback. Going once. Going twice now. Rockin' Roots at 13. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rockin' Roots for $13. Congratulations, Rockin' Roots. A hard-fought victory there, but we're going to knock a dollar off and turn it to a buy it now. But, guys, there are only two more available. There are only two more available at the $12 price point. So Rockin' Roots will knock a dollar off and make that 12 instead of the 13 and uh, we'll open it up to a buy it now. There are two available at the $12 price point. If you're looking to uh, gain some entries, we have Cam and TJ coming in. All right. So Cam and TJ each with a buy it now one. And uh, unfortunately, we only have two more. We do have more coming in in the near future. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed. There has been a lot of uh, delays in terms of uh the post office packaging and all that. So uh, I was expecting maybe four to five packages this week. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to wait till Monday. So uh, I guess tis the season, the holiday season also comes with the holiday season is the delays in shipping guys. So take note of that. Just uh, make sure if you're going to order, uh, just uh, make sure you order early, early. That way you avoid, uh, missing your package before the holidays all right let's see here we have adam stacks in the building good to see you brother thank you for joining us so let's see here we have rockin roots so we'll tag it for rockin roots congratulations rockin roots you will get entry number four and uh we have Cam's Collectibles with a Buy It Now 1. And you will gain entry number 88, Cam. And TJ. And a big shout-out goes to TJ. Uh, so generous on last Friday's auction. Not just last Friday's auction. TJ has shown generosity throughout. And I do appreciate it, TJ. So thank you so much for those jackpot prizes on last Friday's stream. Uh, it definitely made it a special night. And TJ, we're going to get you jackpot entry number 33. All right. And they are in there. What's going on? Chris Garcia is in the building. Thank you for joining. Chris Brummett is in the house as well. A bunch of Chris's have joined us tonight. Thank you all the Chris's for joining us tonight oh and Gigi has something to show you guys this is beautiful did you just do that now yeah. all right so maybe we can play a game with this can you whisper in my ear what that uh 
Can you say it a little louder? All right, so uh, we're going to show you guys a picture. The first person to type what this picture is will gain one entry into the jackpot. Very simple answer, but let's see who's quick on the trigger here. Look at that. Gigi girl. Let's see. Keep an eye on the chat, Gigi. The first person to guess this animal mm -hmm. will gain one entry into the jackpot. We have a winner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Absolutely gorgeous, Gigi. You made that Thank enlightening you. speed. I know you said you had to do that for school, right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Gigi, would you like to uh, uh, announce the winner here? The winner is Sean. Uh... Sean 47. Sean 47. Congratulations, Sean. You have just gained an entry into the jackpot. And Sean, you will receive entry number 42, which is a great number. Shout out to Jackie Robinson. And we are putting that in the jackpot barrel. All right. What's going on, Spoon? Spoon is in the building. Good to see you, Spoon. It is Freaky Friday night, guys. And we are just building some momentum here. I just finished item number uh, four. So let's get into item number five now. Item number five is no stranger to the auction, but it may be the last time we see one grammar in quite some time, unless I get a hold of some more. We have a one gram dagger silver square. Starting bid is one dollar. And... Uh, that is the comparison in size. What's going on, Adam Jam? Good to see you, Adam Jam. So there you have it. We have Cam starting us off at five, Mr. Nilbar at six, Dreadpool at eight, Sean 47 at nine now. Sean 47 at nine, looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10? You and me both, Adam Stacks, which is why we are finishing things off uh, on tonight's auction. We also uh, included some one grammars in the jackpot giveaway tonight in each Christmas gift bag. There will be a one ounce copper round and a one gram Geiger, along with a brand new Sakaplata magnet. All right, we have Dreadpool at 10 now. Dreadpool at 10. Going once, going twice now, Dreadpool at 10, all in, all out, last call, and... So to Dreadpool for $10. Congratulations, Dreadpool. Uh, we're going to knock a dollar off and turn this into a buy it now, but there are only three more available, guys. Only three more available. So uh, $10 price point. Congratulations to uh, Dreadpool. Dreadpool, you get it at $10 and the first two buy it now. The first three buy it nows will receive one as well. We have Rahelio with a buy it now one. Rahelio with a buy it now one. We have Scott Jarvie with a buy it now one. And there is one more remaining. Rita. Rita gets it with a buy it now one. All right, so congratulations, Dreadpool. Uh, you win it at $10, and you receive jackpot entry number five for a jackpot that has five prizes tonight, two of which are courtesy of Dennis Stewart. And uh, let's get the buy now entries here. So, Rahelio, you will receive entry number 62. Scott Jarvie, you will receive entry number 40. And Rita, you will receive entry number 69. 
All right. Let's add that to the barrel. And they are in there. All right, guys. This is the uh, that was item number five. So let's pull up the random comment picker right now. And we're going to select three more names via the random comment picker. Let's refresh here. Three more names. Let's take a look. Good luck. And Rita. Rita, you will gain entry number 34 into the jackpot. Congratulations and good luck. Let's pull two more names here. Rafe Ailman. Rafe, you will gain a second entry into the jackpot. This is number 56. 56 for Rafe. Let's pull two more here. We have Brad Burge. Brad, you will receive one entry into the jackpot. We will get that entry shortly. And let's select one more here. U.S. Silver Stacker. U.S., congratulations. You have just gained entry into the jackpot. And uh, let's get you guys your entry. So, Brad Bird, you will receive entry number 51. And U.S., you will receive entry number 46. So good luck, everyone. And let's add these into the jackpot. Barrel, that is. All right, moving on. Item number six is a very tiny but pretty cool five gram skull silver pour here. So let's get a, uh, a Merc Don to compare the size. You can see it's a little thick on the side, but that's the size that we can. Yeah, it's just about the size of a Merc. A little thicker, obviously, but this is a uh, five gram skull. We have Sean at 10, just edging out, hidden. Rafe taking it to 15, hidden at 16 now. Patriot Stacker coming in at 17, hidden at 20. We have hidden at 20, looking for 21, 21. We have 21. Hidden, uh, excuse me, yes, hidden at 20. Going. Wands. What's going on? Mountains in the building. Good to see you, Mountain. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for joining us. Hidden at 20. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And So to Hidden for $20. Congratulations, Hidden. He says, come on, one of you outbid me. Do it. He's already anticipating the snipe. Poor Hidden has been sniped every Friday night for the past, what, six months? <laughs> Congratulations, Hidden. That is $20 for the five-gram skull silver pour. And you will receive entry number six into tonight's jackpot which has five prizes including three holiday gift bags each of which contain one gram geiger one ounce copper and a sakaplata magnet such as the one that you see here and we also have two more jackpot prizes courtesy of dennis stewart so five jackpot prizes tonight. And congratulations to Hidden on the Silver Pour. We're going to add that to your wallet. All right. Moving right along. Let's see. Rahila says, Saka, can I have my entry number for those two Silver Geiger bars? Two Silver Geiger bars. Let's see here. So, Rahelio, you have entry number 62. 
and you have entry number three, you also have two more entries that you received via the uh, random comment picker at the beginning of the stream. So uh, we have a next up is item number seven. Item number seven is a 2018 one tenth ounce Mexican Libertad. And the mintage here is 20,300. So it's a one tenth ouncer. And we have Adam at eight, hidden at 10, TJ at 11, Rita at 13 now. Rita at 13, Adam Jam coming in at 15. Adam Jam at 15, looking for 16, 16. We have 16. And I am patiently waiting for the 2020 Libra Tads to arrive. I have ordered some uh, regular BUs and I have ordered some proofs as well. So I'm expecting that hopefully in the next two weeks. And we have Rogelio at 16. Adam coming right back at 17 now. Adam at 17. Looking for 18, 18. We have 18. Shout out to Rock and Roots. Thank you for your help, Rock and Roots. We have Adam at 17. And Rita coming back at 18. Adam does not blink twice. He fires back at 20. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. Adam at 20. Looking for 21, 21. We have 21. Speaking of Adam, Adam Stack says, get more of the Proof Libertad sock. I think you may have gotten into collecting the Proof Libertad. Uh, they are absolutely stunning, Adam. I don't blame you for wanting to collect them. It is always a struggle for me to give them up every time I have them, especially the slabbed one that I gave up uh, not too long ago. We have Adam Jam at 20 going one. Going twice now. Adam Jam at 20. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Adam Jam for $20. Congratulations, Adam Jam. Hard fought victory there. Let's get you down here for $20. You will also receive jackpot entry number seven. So Adam Jam with the win. All right. Congratulations, Adam Jam. And John Scott is in the building. Good to see you, John Scott. Wild West Stacker is here as well. I appreciate each and every one of you for spending your Friday night here at the Soccer Plot, the channel live from New York, New York. We have 30 items on tonight's auction. Uh, normally, we do have the 35 items, but uh, we have 30 tonight, and we are hoping to sneak an auction in, maybe an additional auction in next week. However, guys, we will be coin roll hunting on Tuesday night. And there are still rolls available if you are interested in donating for Tuesday night's corn roll hunt. So if you if you would like to be a part of the hunt on Tuesday night, make sure to get in as early as you can. All right. So let's see here. Item number eight is a BU 1974S Ike dollar, 40%. Uh, now, take note of the envelope. Oh, we have visitors here. All right. So uh, take note of the envelope here. It is uh, somewhat compromised. But this is what really matters, the coin. 1974S Ike dollar. We have hidden at 5, Adam Stacks at 10, hidden coming back at 11 now. Hidden at 11, looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12? Cyclone 13's in the building. Good to see you, Cyclone. Hope you're doing well. Man Guy Dude is here as well. It's a Friday night party. And we have Hidden at 11. Going once. And Mr. Nilbar coming in at 12. Adam with the uh, half dollar uh, increase attempt. I'm sorry, Adam, but that only applies to uh, $1 face value lots. 
But hey, you can't knock you for trying, Adam, right? We have Mr. Nilbar at 12. 12, looking for 13, 13. We have 13. And C Dub is here. Coin World UK is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, my friend. Hope all is well. We have Mr. Nilbar at 12. Going once. Going twice now. Mr. Nilbar at 12. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Mr. Nilbar for $12. Congratulations, Mr. Nilbar. That's 12 bucks. You can't go wrong. And uh, you will also receive jackpot entry number eight. So jackpot entry number eight for Mr. Nilbar. And Mr. Nilbar, just keep in mind that the envelope is compromised. But congratulations on the win. Mr. Nilbar. All right. And guess who's back? Aaron's back. He says, hasta la vista, baby. Now, funny thing happened to me and Mrs. Plata, uh not too long ago. We were watching Netflix, uh, or I think it was Amazon Prime. We we're not sponsored by Netflix or Amazon Prime. But uh, we pulled up the Terminator. We thought it was the new Terminator because the thumbnail changed. So we, uh, we we're watching the movie thinking it's the newest Terminator. It took us about... 45 minutes to an hour to realize that it was the original Terminator just remastered. <laughs> now, you can't be too mad because the original Terminator is just awesome, but uh, definitely fooled, <laughs> fooled us there. Brad Bird says, I don't know if we've discussed it before, but if you are planning on a weekday auction, what are your thoughts on proxy bids? Or would it just make it too difficult by yourself? Also, I can accept uh, absentee bids and things like that. Uh, if that's something that you guys are interested in, uh, we have had that before, although it does not happen often, but definitely something that I'm open to. So if you're uh, ever uh, worried about missing the stream or, or you see something that you like on an auction that you cannot attend, you can always uh, reach out to me via sockablothany at gmail.com uh, with an absentee bid and we'll we'll get that penciled in for you. Uh, but that's a good question, Brad. Thank you for that. Silver Streak is here. Good to see you, Silver Streak. All right. We are up to item number nine. And uh, Silver Sacks and Dennis Stewart were yelling at me these past two auctions for not having any quarters on the auction. This is the second quarter on tonight's auction. It is a 1915 Barber quarter. And the starting bid here is $1. And you can't be mad at the detail on the reverse here. It is better than most barber quarters out there. However, there is a slight little nick there underneath the year, 1915. But pretty good, pretty decent shape. We have Adam Stacks at five, Rahilio at six, Adam Stacks at seven, just edging out Patriot Stacker. We have. Sean, 47 at 8, just edging out Spoon. Adam Stacks taking it to 8.5 now. Adam Stacks at 8.5. We do accept half-dollar bids up until the $10 price point, from which uh, 10 on, we do $1 intervals. We have Rita at 9. Rita at 9, looking for 10. Adam says, hard to get barbers on here. <laughs> well, it's hard for me to get a barber because you know what I'm going to say. I'm bald. We have Sean 47 at nine and a half now. Sean at nine and a half. Dennis Stewart taking it to 10, just edging out George Kimmel. We have Dennis at 10. Look at 11, 11. We have 11. Dennis at 10 for the 1915 Barber Quarter. Going 
wants. Going twice now. We have Dennis at 10. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Dennis Stewart for $10. Congratulations, Dennis. Uh, no battle with the front of me tonight. All yours. And he says, give it to my front of me. Boom. Congratulations, Silver Sacks. Uh, Dennis passes over the barber quarter to his frenemy. And we are going to get that down here. Dennis, very generous of you. And let's note here to give it to Silver Sacks. Uh, uh, Dennis, would you like the entry or would you like to pass that over to Silver Sacks as well? Just let me know. And we're going to add this to your wallet. All right. Uh, Rahelio says it's $600 for a roll of 20 Eagles fare. Uh, I would say you can get a better deal, Rahelio. All right, Dennis. So, Dennis, you will receive entry number nine for uh, lot number nine here. And the quarter will go to Silver Sacks at your request. All right. Next up is item number 10. We have a 2016 one tenth ounce proof Libertad. Libertad. 2016 one tenth ounce Mexican Libra tad with a mintage of 12,650. We have Rafe starting us off at 10 now. Rafe at 10. Look at 11, 11. We have 11. Hidden bring it to 15. Adam stacks at 16 now. 16. Look at 17, 17. We have 17. Hidden at 20. For the 2016 one tenth ounce proof Lieber Tad. We have hidden at 20, just edging out Aaron. Adam Jam taking it to 21. Aaron firing off at 22 now. Aaron at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? We love the proof Lieber Tads, guys. And once I receive the 2020 proof Lieber Tads, you guys will be the first to know. We have Aaron at 22. Going once. And Rahelio coming in at 23. Rahelio at 23, looking for 24 now. Rahelio at 23, looking for 24. All right, I'll take a look, uh, Dreadpool. Rahelio at 23. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rahelio at twenty three. All in, all out. Last call. And so to Rahilio for $23. Congratulations, Rahilio. You get the 2016 one tenth ounce Mexican Libra Tad proof uh, for $23. You will also receive jackpot entry number 10. So Rahilio racking up the jackpot entries as well. Congratulations, Rahelio. We are going to bag it and tag it and add it to your wallet. All right. 
take a look here. Uh, Dreadpool, you would not you would not owe shipping in that particular instance. So uh, I hope that answers your question. But thank you for asking. All right, so we're going to move on here, guys, to number 11. And item number 11 is a key date, Franklin half dollar. This is a 1948 Franklin half dollar in circulated condition. And the starting bid here is $1. We have Collective Chris starting us off at 10. Adam Stacks at 11. 11 looking for 12. We have Collective Chris at 13. Rafe bringing it to 15. Collective Chris firing back at 20. Collective Chris at 20 looking for 21. 21. We have 21. Mrs. Flop is trying to hold back her laughter here. Mrs. Flop is in the building, by the way, guys. Hi, everyone. And I don't know how I'm staying focused here. <laughs> we have Collective Chris at 20. Going once. Going twice now. And we have a sniper alert duck for cover. Adams Jam coming in at 21. Adam Jam at 21, looking for 22 now. Ooh, the ginger ale is taking its toll on me over here. A little bubbly today. Adam Jam at 21. Going once. Going twice now. We have Adam Jam at 21 for the 1948 Benji from Philly. All in, all out, last call, and we have a sniper on top for cover, DOS kicking in the door with a $22 bid, just getting it in on time, we have to take a look at the instant replay here. Let's take a look. We have to see that one again. DRS, $22 just before the sold to button there. DRS. We have DRS at $22 for the 1948 Benji. DRS at 22, going once, going twice now, DRS at 22, all in, all out, last call. And sold to DRS for $22. Congratulations, DRS. A hard-fought battle and a hard-earned victory. And you will also gain uh, entry number 11 into a soccer block, the jackpot giveaway that has five jackpot prizes. Congratulations to DRS, and we will add that to your wallet. All right. Congratulations, DRS. And now we start to escalate ever so slightly. Once again, guys, 26 out of the 30 items tonight are under or at the $25 starting bid point. So uh, we're going to get started here with item number 12. 
Item number 12 is, in 1865, three-cent nickel, 1865, three-cent nickel. Starting bid is $10. We have Collective Chris at 10 Collective Chris at 10. This is circulated, as you can see here. We have Silver Streak at 11. Collective Chris coming back at 13 now. Collective Chris at 13. Looking for 14, 14. Do we have 14? 1865, the pre-1900. Adam says, a good album coin. Absolutely. If you have an empty spot for the uh, three cent nickel, this would do just well. Collective Chris at $13 going once. And Rafe bumping into 16 now. We have Rafe at 16 looking for 17 for the 1865 three cent nickel. Rafe at 16. And George Kimmel coming in at 17 now. And we have Collective Chris at 18. Collective Chris at 18. Looking for 19, 19. We have 19. Aaron says, I've dumped some those same Benjis for gold and world silver for something rare. Yes, we love the low mintage. Rare foreign coinage, Aaron. And there are a couple of uh, foreign items on tonight's auction as well. We have George Kimmel at 19 now. Back and forth they go. George at 19. Looking for 20, 20. Do we have 20? Going. Wands. Going to Weiss now. George Kimmel at $19. All in. All out. And we have a sniper alert. Up for cover. Tony Murphy coming in at 20 now. Tony at 20. Looking for 21. Nice battle here for item number 12 in 1865, three cent nickel. We have Tony Murphy at 20. Going once. Going twice now. We have Tony Murphy at 20. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert up for cover, Mrs. Plopper. George Kimmel coming in at 21. Back and forth they go. Collective Chris back in on the action at 22. Just edging out Tony Murphy. It's a, trip, a triple threat battle here for the three cent nickel from 1865. We have Collective Chris at 22, just edging out Tony. Collective Chris at 22, Tony coming in at 23. Collective Chris bumping into 25. Now back and forth they go, back and forth they go. Collective Chris at $25. And AC brings the necessities here, the butter, the popcorn, and the beverages. We have Collective Chris at 25 going once. Going twice now. All right, Sean47. You know you love the parenting. You know you love it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. You have a great night. 
And we have Collective Chris at 25. And Tony Murphy with a sniper of a duck for cover. This was from the grassy knoll this time. What a battle we have here for item number 12. Tony Murphy at 26. Chris uh, George is out. We have Tony at 26. Looking for 27 for the 1865 three cent nickel. Going once. Going twice now. We have Tony Murphy at $26. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Tony Murphy for $26. Congratulations, Tony. That was the battle of the night so far. Congratulations, Tony. You get it for $26. Bucks and you receive jackpot entry number 12. Jackpot entry number 12 for Tony Murphy. Congratulations and Good luck. All right. Game time. First person to guess this correctly will gain one entry into the jackpot. A U.S. state. Go. A U.S. state. First person to guess correctly will gain one entry into the jackpot. Let's see who will win it. We have a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Stop, drop, open up shop. Oh, we have a winner. We have a winner, and that took zero seconds, maybe maybe a half a second. Let's take a look here. All right, let's take a snapshot just to confirm here. All right, and the winner is K. Alabama is the correct answer. Congratulations, K. You have just gained one entry into the jackpot. Now, you have one entry already, so you will gain a second entry, and that entry is number 64. So, K, you have two entries into the jackpot. Good luck. All right, let's take a look at the instant replay here. And there you have it, K, Alabama. Congratulations, K. All right, let's move right into item number 13. Item number 13 is a lovely 1883 Liberty Head V Nickel. Now, this is without the sense, and it is gilded here. Now, the history behind it is the, the racketeering nickel, where they used to use these nickels to resemble uh, the gold variety, and uh, many people were ripped off because they assumed it was gold. All it was was gilded, and uh, that's why they added the sense on the following years, and we have... Uh, a very nice looking example here. It is gilded, but the details appear to be very beautiful. I would say, I don't want to uh, give it a grade, but you guys can see here. We have Collective Chris at 10, Aaron at 12, Collective Chris at 14, Victoria kicking in the door with a $15 bid. Good to see you, Victoria. Hope all is well. And Collective Chris answers at 16 now. Collective Chris at 16 for the 1883 V nickel. And Rita says, looks recently gilded. And that could be that it was recently gilded or it could have been in an album for quite some time. 
either way, I want to say AU details just to be a little conservative here, but it may be less than that. You guys are probably more well-versed in the grading process there. But we have Collective Chris at 16. Going Bonds. And Rita coming in at 17. Uh, absolutely, uh, Collective Chris. That's pretty much what it is. I, I had one of these in a uh, frame on a on an auction several months ago uh, with the racketeering uh, article on there. I believe Maria uh, won that item, but very cool piece of history just to know the uh, the background of a coin like this. And Adam says BF to XF. Hmm. We have Rita at 17 going once. Going twice now. All in. Oh. Out. Last call. And so to Rita for seventeen dollars. Congratulations, Rita. You cannot be mad at that price point for the eighteen eighty three V nickel. In this condition, very nice. Congratulations, Rita. And we are going to add that to your wallet. You will receive jackpot entry number 13 for lot number 13. And Rita, you have some, uh, some dime capsules here, uh, courtesy of Viera, that uh, we did not include in your previous package. So you do have... Uh, two dime tubes here in your wallet. All right. Let's move on to some constitutional silver here. Item number 14 is a $1 face value lot of Benjus. 1954 and 1952. The 54 is from Denver. The 52 is from Philly. And the starting bid here is $15. We have Adam Stacks at 17, Collective Chris at 18 now. Collective Chris at 18, Adam Jam taking it to 20. 20 looking for 21, 21 that we have, 21. Rafe taking it to 23 now. We have Rafe at 23 looking for 24. And TJ taking it to 23 and a half. Half dollar bids are accepted for all uh, $1 face value uh Constitutional Silver Lots. And we have Collective Chris at 25 now. Collective Chris at 25. Looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Brad says, my goodness, oof. <laughs> Collective Chris at 25. Going once. Going twice now. All in, all out, last call, and sold to Collective Chris for $25. Congratulations, Collective Chris. You got one. And you will receive jackpot entry number 14. So that is the uh, $1 face value lot of Benji's. Congratulations. And Collective Chris has put them in the EOS. Boom! Collective Chris 
You shouldn't have, brother, but I really do appreciate the support. Collective Chris has just brought the soccer block the jackpot to six jackpot prizes. Chris, that was very generous of you. Thank you so much for that. That means we have six jackpot prizes, including three holiday gift bags. In each holiday gift bag, there is a one ounce copper round and a one gram Geiger uh, silver square. And there is also a brand new Saka Plata magnet in there. So we have three of these that we will be giving away at the end of the stream. And we have two one ounce copper rounds courtesy of Dennis Stewart. And now we have $1 face value lot of Benji's courtesy of Collective Chris. Thank you so much for that, Collective Chris. Really do appreciate the generosity. So that is a uh, $25 Collective Chris. You will receive jackpot entry number 14. All right. Next up is item number 15. We have reached the halfway mark. And this is the first foreign coin of the night, other than the uh, fractional Libra tads, if you consider that uh, foreign uh, coin. Uh, however, it, it is not technically a coin. Either way, item number 15 is a 1901 Spain Una Peseta Alfonso the 13 0.835 silver coin. Now it is polished, so take note of that. But we're looking at a weight of five grams. 1901 starting bid here is $15. We have spoon coming in at 15. Spoon at 15, looking for 16, 16. We have 16 for the 1901 Spain Una Peseta. Alfonso the 13. And we have Spoon at 15. Going one. Going twice now. We have Spoon at the opening bid of $15. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Dr. Cover, Aaron from the clock tower, sniping at 16. And we have Spoon firing back at 17. Back and forth they go. Spoon at 17, looking for 18 now. For the 1901 Spain Una Peseta. This is 0 .835, uh, 0 0.835 silver. And Aaron coming in at 18 now. We have Aaron at 18, looking for 19, 19. Do we have 19? And Spoon bumping it to 20. We have Spoon at 20, looking for 21 now. And this resembles a coin uh, from Puerto Rico that uh, is definitely on the bucket list for me. I believe it's about an $800 coin from Puerto Rico with a very similar image on it. And we have Spoon at 20. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 20. All in. All out. Last call. And. to Spoon for $20. Congratulations, Spoon. You get the 1901 Spain Una Peseta. How cool is that? 
Congratulations, Spoon. And you received jackpot entry number 15 for lot number 15. And we're going to add this to your wallet. All right, Spoon. Can't be mad at that price point as well. All right, next up, we are going to item number 16. A $1 face value lot of walkers. The starting bid here is $15. We have a 1945 from Philly and a 1942 from Philly as well. We have Silver Streak at 15, Rogelio at 16, Adam Stacks at 19. We have Spoon at 20. Spoon at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? Rafe taking it to 23 now. We have Rafe at 23, looking for 24. Half dollar bids are accepted for $1 face value constitutional silver lots. So we have Rafe at 23. Going once. Going to Weiss now. And we have a sniper alert spoon from the clock tower sniping at 24. We have spoon at 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25 for the one dollar face value lot of walkers? Going once. Going twice now. We have Spoon at 24. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Spoon for $24. Congratulations, Spoon. That's a back-to-back -back win for Spoon. Spoon's gaining some momentum now. And Spoon, you'll receive entry number 16. Congratulations. We're going to add this to your wallet. All right. It's game time. It is game time. A country that begins with the letter B. A country that begins with the letter B. First person to guess correctly will win one entry into the jackpot for a chance at the six prizes tonight. Let's take, we have a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Lovely, isn't it? We have a winner. Let's uh, let's take a snapshot. In the effort to be completely transparent here. And the winner is. Jay Corona, Bolivia is the correct answer. Congratulations, Jay Corona. You have just gained one entry into the jackpot. So we're going to get you down here, Jay. And welcome to the stream, brother. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're enjoying your Friday as well. And Jay Corona, you will receive entry number 63. All right, Jay. And let's take a uh, look at the uh, confirmation here. Country that begins with the letter B. And there you see J Corona. All right, J. We have six jackpot prizes tonight. Good luck. Next up, we are going to take it from Spain over to Russia. 
This is in 1876, Russia, 20 kopecks, 50% silver coin with a weight of 3.6 grams. And there you have it. That is the condition that you can expect from this coin. And the starting bid here is $15. And we have Spoon at 15, Aaron at 20. We have Aaron bumping it to 20, looking for 21 now. We have Aaron at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? For the Russia, 20 Kopex. And Spoon at 21, Aaron taking it to 23. I would say it's about the size of uh, a little bigger than the nickel. Somewhere in between a uh, barber quarter and a uh, a nickel, Rita. Little, maybe it is closer to a barber quarter here. We have spoon at twenty five, and Aaron taking it to twenty six. Now we have spoon at twenty seven. Aaron at twenty eight. Aaron at 28, looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? We have Aaron at 28. Spoon and Aaron going back and forth on the foreign silver. Spoon at 29, Aaron at 30. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. Take a look at the, uh, the rim here. And Spoon firing off at 32. Aaron fires back at 33 now. We are looking at the battle of the night so far. Aaron at 33. Spoon coming back at 34. Spoon at 34, looking for 35 now. Oh, get the popcorn. We have Aaron and Spoon engaging in a head-to-head -head battle here on this freaky Friday night. For the 1876 20 Copex and Spoons at 40. We have Aaron at 41. Mr. Nilbar brings the popcorn and a beverage. Rafe brings one as well. We are missing one ingredient here. And Spoon is out. We have Aaron at 41 for the 1876 20 Copex from Russia. Going... Want. Going to Weiss now. We have Aaron at 41, looking for 42. All in. All out. Last call. And. to Aaron for $41. Congratulations, Aaron. You get the 20 Kopex from Russia, 1876. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 17. What a battle that was between Spoon and Aaron. A big shout-out goes to both of them for the battle of the night so far. And Aaron... We will add that to your wallet. Congratulations. All right. We are going to move on here to the final constitutional silver lot. This is lot number 18, a $1 face value lot of Merck Dimes, Team Dimes. Starting bid here is $15. We have a 1941. Most of these should be in the 40s, if not all of them. So I am just checking to see if they are all in the 40s. And they are all in the 40s here. Yep. 
Starting bid is 15. We have Adam Stacks at 20. Adam Jam at 21, just edging out Tony. We have Rafe at 22. TJ taking it to 23, just edging out Tony Murphy. We have TJ at 23, looking for 24. Although we do accept half dollar bids for $1 face value lots. We have TJ at 23 for the 10 Merc Dimes. Going once. Going twice now in the triple snipe. We have Tony coming in with the 23 and a half and Rahilio at 24 just edging out TJ. Tony Murphy at 24 and a half and Paul Hampton kicking in the door with a $25 bid. What's going on, Paul Hampton? Thank you for joining us. We have Paul at 25, Tony Murphy at 25 and a half now. Tony Murphy at 25 and a half, looking for 26 now. For the 10 Merc times $1 face value lot here, the final $1 face value lot of the night. Tony Murphy at 25 and a half. Going one. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper with Rahilio at 26. Dr. Connor, GG. Oh, she. <laughs> Careful, Gigi. You almost went head first into the Christmas tree over there. <laughs> we have Rogelio at $26 going once. Going twice now. We have Rogelio at 26 Oh. All in, all out, and Tony Murphy with a sniper alert, Dr. Cover, Tony returning fire. This is a back and forth battle between Rogelio and Tony Murphy. We have Tony at 26 and a half now. Tony at 26 and a half, looking for 27. Going once. Going to twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And so. To Tony Murphy for 26 and a half. Congratulations, Tony. Back and forth battle with Tony and Rogelio. And Tony came out on top. And Tony, you will receive entry number 18 into the soccer block, the jackpot, which has six prizes tonight that will be given away at the end of the stream. So congratulations, Tony. And we will. Add that to your wallet. All right. Next up, we have a low mintage alert coming up here. Item number 19 is... A 1919 Walker from Philadelphia. We have a mintage of 962,000 on planet Earth. And the condition, as you can see, you can see the date clear as day. I believe this is the second lowest mintage other than the 1921s. And you guys feel free to correct me if you're if if I'm wrong, but the 1919 
from Philly. And we have Adam Jam at 15. 15 looking for 16 now. We have Ray Feldman at 16. George Kimmel coming in at 17 now. And uh, you can't be mad at the uh, detail on the reverse here as well. Pretty good looking 1919 here. We have Rafe at 20. Rafe at 20. Looking for 21. 21. We have 21. And if you pull this up, the 1919P Walker, you can see what it goes for in G4. And we have Rafe at $20. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rafe at 20 for the 1919 Walker. And we have a sniper with that for cover, DRS. DRS coming in at 21 now from the clock tower. We have Sharp Eye kicking in the door with a $22 bid. What's going on, Sharp Eye? Thank you for joining us tonight. Shout out to Sharp Eye for sponsoring a giveaway on the last two Friday night World Coin auctions. I do appreciate the support, brother. And thanks for the kind words on your stream last night. I really do appreciate that. And we have DRS at 23 now. DRS at 23. Looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24 for the 1919 Walker from Philly? DRS at 23. Going once. Going twice now. DRS at $23. All in. All out. Last call. And so to DRS for $23. Congratulations, DRS. DRS says, I need that one. So congratulations, DRS. The 1919 has a mintage of 962,000 on planet Earth. And now you have one of those. So congratulations to DRS. $23 and you will receive jackpot entry number 19. And we will add this to your wallet. All right. Next up is item number 20. Item number 20 is an 1858 Flying Eagle Scent. Take, a, uh, take note of the condition here. Let's see if we can get a nice close-up. It is circulated, as you can see. Now, this is the large letters variety here, 1858. What you want to look for is the America... So you see there the America, usually if it's a small letters, it would be uh, distinctively separate there. But you can see that the A and the M pretty much connect, which is an indicator of the large letters. So we have a starting bid is $20. We have Tony Murphy at $25. We have Tony at $25 looking for $26 now. And here's the reverse. What's going on? Silver Sax is in the building. Good to see you, brother. How you doing tonight? Hope you're enjoying your Friday. And uh, we have Tony Murphy at 25 for the 1858 Flying Eagle Scent. Going once. 
going twice now. We have Tony Murphy at 25, looking for 26. All in. All out. And we have a sniper alert up for cover. Scott Jarvie from the grassy knoll. Scott Jarvie and George tried to snipe it as well. Tony Murphy fires back. Look out. Shots fired. Shots fired. We have Tony Murphy at 26 now for the 1858 Flying Eagle Scent. Once again, this is the large letters version. And we have George Kimmel coming back at 28 now. We have George at 28 looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? Tony Murphy firing back at 29. Back and forth they go. And Rebel Randy is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. We have Tony Murphy at 29. Going once. Going twice now. What's going on? Dr. Dazed is in the building. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Dazed. We have Tony Murphy at 29. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Dr. Cover, George Kimmel. Split second snipe. Just getting it in on time. George at 30. George, I was milliseconds away from hitting that enter button. And George is in the driver's seat at $30 for the 1858. Flying Eagle sent large letters. What's going on? The Flying Twinkie has flown in on this freaky Friday night. What's going on, Flying Twinkie? Thank you for joining us. We have George at 30 now. Going once. Going twice now. George at 30. All in. All out. And Tony Murphy with a sniper alert up for cover. Tony and George are going head to head here for this large letters version of the 1858 Flying Eagle scent. Once again, let's take a close up on that America there. Because that's the indicator that you're looking for. Now, Dr. Days, we'd love for you to participate, but you would need to verify on the channel. The way to do that is to send a $1 verification refundable payment to SakaFalataNY at gmail.com. And that's just to verify that you have an active uh, uh, PayPal account and that you are of age to participate. We have George coming in at 32 now. Back and forth they go. Tony Murphy at 33. Another great battle here. Head to head. George versus Tony. Who's going to come out on top? We have Tony at 33. And Dr. Dazed, uh, if you do not participate, or, or should I say if you do not purchase anything, uh, we will refund that $1 to you. However, if you purchase something, the $1 will be deducted from your auction total. We have Tony Murphy at 33 going once. Going twice now. Tony at 33. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Oh, my goodness. They go back and forth. They must have tactical gear and protective equipment. George and Tony are doing battle here, and they are sniping, going snipe for snipe right now. We have Tony Murphy at 36 now. What's going on? Luck of the Irish is in the building. 
Good to see you, Luck. Tony Murphy at 36 for the 1858 large letters Flying Eagle Scent. Going once. Thank you, Dr. Days. I do appreciate it. Going twice now. This is an 1858, George. And we have Tony at 36. All in. All out. Last call. And oh my goodness, it's another sniper alert, Dr. Connor. George with the snipe at 37. And Tony does not even blink twice. He fires right back at 38. We are looking at possibly the battle of the night, although Spoon and Aaron went to battle for the Russia 20 Kopex earlier. And now we have Tony and George going head-to-head -head here, guys. This is an exciting battle here. Let's see who comes out on top. We have Tony Murphy at 38 for the 1858 Flying Eagle Scent. Going once, going twice now, we have Tony at 38, all in, and they'll look now, but George from the clock tower, sniper alert, boom, George coming in at 39 once again, you guys really want me to lose my voice tonight. We have Tony coming right back at 40 now. Tony Murphy at 40 for the 1858. And there you see the Flying Eagle. George Kimmel coming in at 41. Tony Murphy at 42. Back and forth. Back and forth they go. Dr. Days says, hello, my name is Dr. Days, and I have a problem. I buy too many coins. And I think everyone, including myself, could uh, relate to that. And we have Tony Murphy at 42. Going once. Going twice now. Tony at 42. And we have a sniper alert, George Kimmel. Don't for cover, Mrs. Plata. They are going to war here. The battle of the night, George versus Tony for the 1858 large letters version of the Flying Eagle scent. We need some popcorn. Can we have some extra buttery popcorn here? We have. We do have popcorn. We do have oh yes, we do. We have. What is that? Pop secret. Pop. Pop yeah. secret. We have Tony at 44, George at 45, Tony bumping into 50 now. We have Tony at 50. Who will fold? What a battle we have here. George versus Tony, the battle of the night. Scott Jarvis says, I have the 1857, but not the 1858. Dr. Day says that he has the uh, small letters, not the large letters. And we have Tony in the driver's seat at 50. Going once. Going twice now. We have Tony at $50. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Tony Murphy for fifty dollars. Boom! Tony with the win. The battle of the night. And Tony. 
has won it. Incredible. Congratulations, Tony. How exhilarating was that? Tony Murphy and George Kimmel, thank you guys so much for engaging in that very entertaining battle. How about that? Tony Murphy gets it for $50. And Tony, you will receive entry number 20. Entry number 20. How about that? That's one of those battles where you have to drink some ginger ale afterwards. If not, my voice will start cracking like an 11-year-old boy. All right. Sip of the ginger ale. What's going on? Rory Ross is in the building. Good to see you, Rory. Oh, thank you so much, Collective Chris. Shout out to Collective Chris, who uh, took the jackpot and upgraded it to six prizes tonight with his donation of $1 face value, uh, Franklin half dollar. So thank you so much for that, Collective Chris. Shout out to Dennis Stewart as well, who contributed two one-ounce copper rounds. And we have three holiday gift bags that we will be giving away at the end of the stream as well, each of which contain a one-ounce holiday-themed copper round and a one-gram Geiger silver square. They will also contain the brand-new Sakaplapa magnet, so if you haven't had enough of my logo yet, just stick it on your fridge and stare at it every morning when you go in for your uh, milk for your coffee, if that's if you drink coffee with milk, that is. All right. Congratulations, Tony Murphy. Shout out to George Kimmel as well. What a battle that was. All right. Next up is item number 21 out of 30 items tonight. This is... In 1867, Shield Nickel without the raise on the reverse there. And starting mid is 20. We have Collective Chris at 20. Silver Street taking it to 21 now. So the details are clear as day. Although it is a circulated coin, not in bad shape. We, it's in 1867. And we have Aaron at 23, Brad Burge coming in at 25 now. Brad at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26 for the 1867 Shield Nickel? Silver Sachs is experiencing some internet difficulties. Sorry about that, brother. All the uh, remote learning Definitely has had an impact impact on the uh, YouTube lagging situation. We have Brad at 25 going once. Going twice now. We have Brad at 25 for the 1867 Shield Nickel. All in. All. Out and we have a sniper alert up for cover. Sharp eye coming in at 26 for the 1867 shield nickel. Brad firing back at 27. We have Brad at 27. Look for 28. 28. Do we have 28? Rock and Root says, I hear the huge sunspot and the blast from it have a lot to do with outages. Uh, are you referring to that? Uh, Explo that light explosion that was uh, witnessed on camera, Rock and Roots. I saw that the other day. Was it yesterday? I think we have Sharp Eye at 28. Back and forth they go. Sharp Eye at 28. Looking for 29. 29. Do we have 29? Sharp Eye at 28. Going. Once. Going twice now. We have Sharp Eye at 28 for the 1867 Shield Nickel. All in. All out. 
last call. And so to Sharp Eye for coins for $28. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. A nice looking shield nickel heading your way. So that's $28. And Sharp Eye, you will receive jackpot entry number 21. And Sharp Eye, uh, we will add this to your wallet. Congratulations. So Rocket Root says, yes, Saka. And now that sunspot is directly facing Earth. So, I, you know, I, the only footage that I was able to see regarding that was just how the sky just completely lit up. Uh, I thought that was very interesting to say the least. Maybe there is better footage out there that I have not seen, but uh, very interesting. It is a reminder of how fragile our lives here are on Earth, and we do have to uh, take every breath with humility for sure. All right, let's take a look here. We are up to item number 22. Item number 22 is a foreign coin from Peru. This is a 1923 Unsol 50% silver coin. And it's about the size of a Morgan dollar here with a weight of 25 grams. And look at the toning on this coin here. Nice patina. We're going to start this at $20 here. $20 for the 1923 Peru one soul 50% silver coin. We have Spoon at 20 just edging out Aaron. Aaron at 21 just edging out Adam Stacks. And let's take a look. 1923. Wow, this is a beautiful coin. You know, one thing I like about these auctions, I love many things, but you get to see a nice close-up of a coin that you probably didn't look at too closely, uh, at least in terms of how detailed the features here are. It's actually very, very nice. We have, let's see here. Adam stacks at 31, Aaron at 33, just edging out Spoon. We have Aaron at 33, Dr. Days at 35, Aaron at 40 now for the 1923 Unsol from Peru. And Aaron at 40 now. Going... Wands. Dr. Dazed coming in at 41. Aaron firing back at 42. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go for the 1923 Peru. Dr. Dazed at 43 now. We have Dr. Dazed at 43. Look at the 44, 44. Do we have 44? Let's take a closer look at this beauty of a coin. Look at the shield. Even the shield has pretty nice detail to it. My grandmother actually has a mirror that resemble, resembles the design on that shield. It's, it's been there for about, maybe it's since 1923. <laughs> we have Dr. Days at 43 going once. Going twice now. Dr. Days at 43 for the 1923 Peru. And we have a sniper on Dr. Cover. Aaron coming in at 45 from the clock tower. Shots fired. And Dr. Days bumping it to 50 now. Back and forth they go. Dr. Days at 50 for the 1923 Peru. Aaron at 51. Dr. Days firing back at 52. We have had some very exciting battles tonight, guys. 
Aaron at 55. Now, Dr. Days at 56. They are going back and forth. Incredible. Aaron at 57. Dr. Days at 60. Silver Sacks with the popcorn. We need some butter on that popcorn. I have some pop secret waiting for me, guys. I don't think I'll be getting to it tonight for obvious reasons, but it's there for me if I need it. <laughs> we have Dr. Dazed at 60, and Aaron is out. Dr. Dazed at $60 for the 1923 Peru. Going one. Going twice now. Dr. Days at 60. All in. All out. Last call. And so. To Dr. Dazed for $60. Congratulations, Dr. Dazed. What a battle that was. We keep dethroning the battle of the night, which was previously Tony Murphy versus George Kimmel. Now it is Aaron versus Dr. Dazed. And congratulations to Dr. Dazed. You win it. $60 for the 1923 Peru. You will receive jackpot entry number 22. Uh, we, we have six jackpot prizes that will be given away at the end of the stream. And uh, if your number comes out, you will win one of those prizes. So congratulations, Dr. Dazed, on your first win on the Soccer Plot, the channel. And we do appreciate you being here. All right. So Dr. Dazed. Congratulations. And Aaron says, I really wanted that too. I definitely could tell, Aaron, you guys were doing a back and forth warfare and uh, very exciting to see. All right. Next up. The first American Silver Eagle of the night. We have three available on tonight's stream. And if we finish the auction list earlier than expected, then we will add a couple of more American Silver Eagles at the end. All right. This is a 2009 American Silver Eagle. We have Rahelio starting us off at the opening bid of 25. Dr. Day is at 26. Rahelio, is that a typo? Just confirm, Rogelio. We do have Spoon at 28. Okay, so that was a typo. So Spoon is the front runner here at 28 for the 2009 American Silver Eagle. We have Spoon at 28. Dr. Dazed at 29. Take note, there is some light scratching there on the reverse. And we have Rogelio at 30 now. Rogelio at 30, looking for 31, 31. We have 31. Let's see here, by the E, let's see. Uh, so, yes, there is some light scratching you can see there. That is not on the flip. That is on the coin, guys. So take note of that. We have Rogelio at 30. The obverse is much better, though. We have Rogelio at 30 going once. Going twice now. If you're talking about on the obverse, that is a hair. <laughs> on the obverse, it is a hair. We have Rogelio at 30. All in. All out. Last call. And 
We have a sniper who buck for cover. Hidden and Rock and Roots both wanted in on the action, but Hidden fired first. We have Hidden at 31. We have Hidden at 31. Just edging out Rock and Roots. Hidden at 31. Going once. Going twice now. Hidden at 31 for the 2009 ASE. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper of our Rockin' Roots. Stop for cover from the clock tower. Rockin' Roots coming in at 32 now. Rockin' Roots at 32, looking for 33 for the 2009 American Silver Eagle. Rockin' Roots at 32. Going once. Going twice now. Rockin' Roots at $32. All in. All out. Last call. And... So to Rockin' Roots for $32. Congratulations, Rockin' Roots. You win the 2009 American Silver Eagle. So that's at the $32 price point. And Rockin' Roots, you will receive jackpot entry number 23. And we will add this to your wallet. Congratulations, Rockin' Roots. All right, it's game time. It is game time. A U.S. state go. First person to guess correctly will gain one ent entry into a jackpot that has six prizes tonight. And it must be spelled correctly. Let's take a look here. Multiple guesses are accepted here. We are looking, we are searching, we are trying to locate the winner here. We have a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. We have a winner, guys. All right. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I had a chicken dinner earlier today. Had some wings. With some homemade French fries. Mrs. Splata makes the best homemade French fries. And I can't get enough of it. They are so thick and chunky and soft and delicious. Oh, French fries. All right. So let's see here. We have a winner. Just verifying. All right. Let's take a snapshot. And this person is on fire with the wins as of late. The winner is Coin Silver. Idaho is the correct answer. Congratulations, Coin Silver. You have guessed correctly, and you will receive one entry into the jackpot. So let's get Coin Silver entry number 35. Congratulations, Coin Silver. Coin Silver won, I uh, believe, on Tuesday night and on Friday night. So, uh, congratulations, Coin Silver. All right. So, that's entry number 35. Good luck. Aaron says, nothing like frying taters in at work, in a work, in a walk, excuse me. I can read, I promise, Aaron. <laughs> All 
All right. We're going to move on to item number 24. The first and only Morgan dollar of the night. But it is a uh, has a nice patina to it. It's not BU or anything like that, but feast your eyes on an 1885 Morgan dollar. 1885 Morgie Morg is in the building, everyone. Starting bid is 25. We have Dr. Days at 30. Dr. Days at 30. Looking for 31, 31. We have 31 for the 1885 Morgan dollar. Nice patina to it. Nice detail. Going once. Going twice now. We have Dr. Days at $30. All in. All out. And sniper alert, double snipe from the clock tower and the grassy No, Who landed first? Power of Cheese. Power of Cheese is in the building. Good to see you, Power of Cheese. $31 bid, just edging out Tony Murphy, but Tony fires back at 32 now. Tony at 32, looking for 33, 33. Do we have 33 for the 1885 Morgan Dollar? Tony at 32. Going once. Going twice now. We have Tony at 32. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Tony Murphy for $32. Congratulations, Tony. What a performance for Tony Murphy today. That is his one, two, three, fourth win of the night. And, Tony, that's at $32 for this one. You will also receive jackpot entry number 24. So, Tony's racking up the uh, items and the jackpot entries. Congratulations. All right, Tony. That was item number 24 out of 30 items tonight. And next up is the second American Silver Eagle of the night. There is one more remaining. This is a 1997 American Silver Eagle. And take note of the condition here. Seems to be in good shape. Take a look at the reverse. Some light scuffing and scratching here down the bottom. So take note of that. Well, the 97 ASE. And we have Rahilio at 30. Paul uh, Silver Sacks at 31. Rahilio at 32 now. We have Rahilio at 32. Looking for 33, 33. Do we have 33? Silver Sacks at 33 now. Silver Sacks at 33 for the 1997 ASE. And Paul Hampton bumping it to 35. Silver Sacks firing back at 36. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. It's a battle royal here for the 1997 American Silver Eagle. Silver Sacks at 36. Going one. Going twice now. Silver Sacks at 36. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a snipe. 
Sniper Alert, Dr. Days coming in at 37. Duck for cover. Dr. Days at 37, looking for 38 for the 1997. We have Dr. Days at 37. I'm blinded. The fluorescent light in my eyeball. And we have Dr. Days at 37 going once, going twice now. Dr. Days at 37 all in, all out. Last call. And so to Dr. Days for $37. Congratulations, Dr. Days. You win it for $37. That's the 1997 American Silver. Eagle. Let's just verify that it was 37. That's correct. So Dr. Dave, uh, Dr. Dazed, excuse me, you get it for $37. And that is your second win of the night. You will receive jackpot entry number 25 for that auction win. Congratulations. And guys, I know there are certain items, there are certain things that you guys can get at a lower price point at an LCS or on eBay or whatnot. Some There are some deals that you can find on the Soccer Plata uh, World Coin Auction. However, I do appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And uh, I tell you what, I look forward to the streams every Tuesday and Friday nights, you know, spending our time together, common interest, and enjoying each other's company. So... I'm humbled by your continued support, guys. I really do mean that. And uh, with that being said, we have five items remaining on tonight's auction list. Next up is a toner alert. Toner alert. Not just any toner. We're looking at a purple toner here. This is item number 26. A one-ounce credit Swiss Three nine fine silver bar. And I don't know if the toning is going to be picked up on here as much as I would like. And we have Collective Chris at 25. Spoon says, I'd rather pay soccer the premium than get ripped on Facebook. I do appreciate that, Spoon. In fact, that does remind me of an instant where uh, some great community members found themselves in an unfortunate situation on YouTube. So guys, it's not just happening on Facebook. It's not just happening on Instagram. It's happening on YouTube. You guys have to be careful with who you choose to uh, uh, spend your money with and make sure they're rep reputable, guys, because there are many people out there that are looking to take advantage of good-hearted people in our community, and we cannot let that happen. So, uh, you know, make sure you guys trust who you're dealing with. That is definitely important. And we have Adam Jam at 31. Adam Jam at 31 for the one ounce Credit Swiss silver bar. Adam Jam at 31. Oh, oh, well, let's start with the going once. <laughs> going once. Going. Twice now. We have Adam Jam at 31. All in. All out. Last call. And so to 
Adam Jam for $31. Congratulations, Adam Jam. And one thing I am going to say is the camera is not picking up the toning the way I would hope it would. So you are really going to be surprised and you're going to enjoy receiving this one. Congratulations. It is purple. <laughs> it's a purple toned Credit Suisse, one ounce. So there you have it. Adam Jam, uh, Adam Jam, you get it for $31. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 26. All right, Adam. Yeah, you are going to love this one. Dr. Day says, I don't have an LCS near me, so I would rather buy from someone like this for a few bucks more just to help out, help out. But that's just me. And I feel the same way, not just on YouTube, but small local businesses. You know, it's important because those are the businesses that go under during times like this. I can't tell you how many times I walk up the street in New York City and I see a for rent sign multiple for rent signs, for, for sale, for lease, everyone is going out of business in New York City. And uh, it is very important to support our lo local businesses, not just in New York, but all over the United States. They definitely could use our support, the, uh, the small local businesses for sure. All right. So let's see here. We're going to move on. Uh, Rafe says, doctor, you can also open a, oh yes, we do have the wallet accounts. And I do appreciate you guys trusting me with that as well. Uh, you know, Sharp Eye had the nicest things to say about me on his uh, most recent stream. Uh, and uh, I really am honored that you guys uh, view me as trustworthy because I, I really focus on transparency. I focus on gaining your trust. And if I haven't done that, I need to do a better job. So thank you guys so much for your support. As we move into item number 27, you guys are going to love this colorized eagle. This is a 2014 colorized American silver eagle with the American flag. There we go. With the American flag on the background of a gilded lovely lady. So the starting bid here is 30. We have Power of Cheese at 30, Rahelio at 32. Now the reverse is not colorized. However, you know, I'm not too big of a fan on colorized coins, but this one I definitely love. USA, USA. And we have Patriots, uh, I'm sorry, we have Sean47 edging out Patriot Stacker. We have Sharp Eye for Coins edging out Spoon at 35. Power of Cheese at 36. Patriot Stacker at 38 now. It's a battle royal for the 2014 colorized ASE. Spoon bringing it to 40 now. We have Spoon at 40. Looking for 41, 41. We have 41 for the one ounce Silver Eagle. And I must say, there are plenty of things that we can improve on in our country, but I really do love our country. And I am grateful to be here, born in the United States of America. We have Spoon for 42 now. We have Spoon at 42. Looking for 43, 43. Do we have 43? <laughs> and <laughs> Dennis Stewart with the Canada, Canada. <laughs> I can picture your fist bumping while you do that, Dennis. We have TJ coming in at 43 now. TJ at 43, looking for 44. Rockzilla at 45 now. Rockzilla at 45, looking for 46. 46, do we have 46? Sharp Eye is out. TJ bringing it to 46 now. Clay 37 is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. See, when I see Clay on chat, I get all excited and my voice starts to crack <laughs> hope you're doing well on this friday night clay and we have spoon firing back at 48 now 
Spoon at 48, looking for 49, 49. Do we have 49? Going once. Going twice now. We have Spoon at $48 for the 2014 colorized American Silver Eagle one ounce coin. All in, all out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. That's for cover. TJ coming in at the very end with a $49 snipe. And Spoon fires back at 50. We have Spoon at 50 looking for 51 now. Back and forth they go here for the 2014 colorized Silver Eagle. Dennis says, how did you know that? Was you was that you who just peeked in my window? Well, Dennis, what you don't know is the last package I sent you had a tracking device in it with a camera. I'm just kidding, Dennis. <laughs> He's going to check all his coinage now. We have Spoon at 50 going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 50 for the colorized one ounce eagle from 2014. All in, all out. Last call. And so to Spoon for $50. Congratulations, Spoon. You get it for 50 bucks. That's the 2014 colorized one ounce eagle with our beautiful flag in the background. Congratulations, Spoon. That's $50. And you will receive jackpot entry number 27. And we will add that to your wallet. Hard fought battle there. And all battles tonight have been very exciting, guys. So I want to thank you guys for making it a very exciting back and forth uh, exchange here on many of these items tonight. And uh, did I miss someone joining us? Marley and T is in the building. Good to see you, Marley and T. It is Freaky Friday night, and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. We are going to move on to the final three items. But wait, before we do, we're going to pull up the random comment picker and select three more names to be entered into the Sockaplot the Jackpot giveaway. We have uh, six jackpot prizes tonight, three courtesy of Dennis Stewart and Collective Chris. So we're going to pull up the uh, random comment picker here, 54 unique comments, and let's pull three names here. And the winner is Herbert Cox. Congratulations, Herbert. It says time for a good time. And Brandon Scott's in the building. What's going on, Brandon? EMP is in the house. Shout out to EMP who designed the thumbnail for tonight's stream. And he, and he sent it to me right before uh, prepping for the stream. So it was a very pleasant surprise. Thank you so much, EMP, for that. And guys, if you're looking for thumbnails, uh, if you're looking for graphics, logos, or any kind of artwork, make sure to get in touch with EMP. He does some tremendous work, and uh, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. When I saw that half-ounce lever tad, the reverse proof on the design, I said, oh, my goodness. All right, we'll pull, uh, let's pull two more names here. And Rockzilla. Rockzilla. That's right. Shout out to Silver Sacks for making it possible. EMP said, make sure you shout out Silver Sacks. And I failed you, EMP. I'm sorry about that. Big shout out goes to Silver Sacks. Doing so much to help our community members out. 
So we're going to pull out one more name here, and then we'll get you guys your entries. And TJ, TJ, you will gain one entry into the jackpot. And uh, let's get your entries, guys. So uh, Herbert Cox, your entry is number 41. Rockzilla, your entry is number 80. And TJ at 48. TJ, you will receive entry 48. All right, guys. Well, now it's time to get into the dessert menu. The final three items are all gold. We've seen this gold before. This is a BU 2020 Canadian Maple Graham. And the starting bid here is $75 for the one gram gold. So if we have any interest, $75 is the starting price. We have Sharp Eye starting us off at $75. Uh, that's right, Rogelio. This one, let's let's. Uh, I'm glad you asked because I do want to compare sizes here. So, for instance, with the uh, the, the whole uh, Flying Eagle is pretty much the size of the gold, including the assay. So, uh, it is a very tiny piece of gold, one gram. Uh, that I believe there wouldn't be any capsule for this one we have herb ash at 76 herb ash at 76 going once and as small as these one gram golds are they always garner a premium which protects you if if the price of gold goes down. That's why I always enjoy collecting fractional as well. We have Herbash at 76 going twice now. 76, looking for 77, 77. We have 77. All in. All out. Last call. And Sniper at AC with the snipe at 77. We need to take a look at the instant replay. Let's take a look here. AC just got the bid in on time. We're going to take a snapshot here. Oh, my goodness. And there we have it, AC at 77, right before before the soul to Herb. So, Herb, I apologize, but AC with the perfectly timed snipe there. Ozzy Cobble at 77 now. That was a bang-bang play there. AC at 77, looking for 78. Absolutely, Rogelio. Please email me at socaplantany at gmail.com so that I can uh, be sure to uh, find that for you, brother. And we have AC at 77 going once. Going Twice now. AC at 77. All in. All right, George, you have a great night. All out. Last call. And. So. To AC for $77. Congratulations, AC. You sniped it at the end. 
And that was a successful snipe. Congratulations. You get the one gram gold. All right, let's uh, put this down here. $77 for AC. And you will receive jackpot entry number 28. That's jackpot entry number 28 for AC. All right. How about that? Case has lots of snipe snipes tonight. Absolutely. It has been a firefight all day long. I feel the competitive spirit in tonight's auction, guys. It has been really intense, and I'm loving every minute of it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And we are going to move on to item number 29. Item number 29 is... A 2015 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle, and the starting bid is 215. We have Power of Cheese opening the door with a 215, and this is five dollar intervals going forward. We have hidden at 220 now. We have hidden at 220, looking for 225. Don't touch it. Don't touch it, Collective Chris. <laughs> wow, Dr. Days, that sounds very interesting. I have not heard of a golden analytic silver bar. We have hidden at 220. We are looking for 225 now. And this is beautiful. Hidden at 220. Going once. Going twice now. And we have a sniper alert duck for cover. Shot by for coins kicking in the door with a $225 snipe. Duck for cover, everyone. The snipes are coming from everywhere. And we have Sharp Eye at 225. As Mrs. Splatter <laughs> kills a... Uh, Mrs. Splatter <laughs> just sniped a little fly to the left of me here. Incredible precision there, Mrs. Splatter. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you for protecting me. <laughs> We have sharp eye for coins for 225 now. Going once. Going twice now. We have sharp eye for 225. Looking for 230. Oh, Lynn. All out. Last call. And so to shot eye for coins for two hundred and twenty five dollars. Boom! Congratulations, Sharp Eye. You get the beautiful 2015 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. We'll get you down here for 225, and you will receive jackpot entry number 29. Congratulate, uh, congratulations, Sharp Eye. We will add this to your wallet. All right. Beautiful gold. Now, before we move into the main event of the evening, what's going on? Charles Kelly's in the building. Good to see you, Charles. Am I missing anyone else that came in? If you guys are just joining us, thank you guys so much for being here on this freaky, freaky Friday night. Now, before we get into the final item, I want to take this time to make note of 
this particular item. What is this? This is not an auction item. This is a PCGS graded MS69 one tenth ounce gold eagle from 1997. And it will be given away to one lucky coin community member, courtesy of myself and Vieira Coins. Now, the goal was to get me to 1,000 subs and to get Vieira to 500 subs. Uh, thanks to your amazing support, I was able to achieve my goal, but we still need help. We need to get Vieira to 500 subs, guys. So Vieira Coins, if someone can put his link in the chat, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to Vieira Coins, we need to get him to 500 subs for this joint giveaway to take place, guys. <laughs> Collective Chris says, just put it in my wallet. It'll be fine. So Vieira's somewhere around 400, and he's a very humble, hardworking guy from Queens, New York, and uh, a small business owner, and my preferred LCS. So guys, please, let's show him some love. He's done so much for the channel as well, and uh, if we can get him to 500, we will be giving away that gold one-tenth ounce. All right. Uh, so let's see if we can uh, pull the link here. Let's just, I'm going to uh, enter his channel name. And if someone can find a link, if not, if you search, okay, so then it says he is currently at 426. So still a little bit to go. But any help would be appreciated, guys. And and uh, thank you, Silver Sax. Silver Sax has just posted the link to Vieira Coins. And Wesley says, I wish I had a Vieira LCS here. Mine's too greedy. And, and you know, I'm glad you mentioned that, Wesley. That's an important factor here, guys. Uh, Vieira has the same mindset as myself and many others probably here on the chat. I believe everyone needs to eat. Everyone needs to eat, and sharing is caring. So, uh, you know, rather than trying to charge the most, charge a little less. Let someone else, if they're going to sell it or flip it, let them get a couple of do dollars and, and just have that, uh, that uh, connection where you guys are not only supporting each other financially, but allowing others to be able to support themselves as well. All right. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, there are a lot of LCSs, LCSs, uh, LCSs that, <laughs> sorry, Mrs. Plop, I speak English. I promise <laughs> it's my first language. And uh, there are a lot of LCSs that do overprice things. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, that is something that goes on. Adam Jam, thank you so much for that. And thank you guys so much for the support. And Mrs. Plata passing me the ginger ale. Look at that. <laughs> you were too good to me, Mrs. Plata. <laughs> Rogelio says, Saka, do you speak Spanish too? Oh, I don't you speak Spanish. Come on. Si. Yo hablo un poquito español, pero yo entiende más que yo hablo. <laughs> and that is what we call New York Rican Spanish right there. That is born in Manhattan Spanish right there. <laughs> and hopefully uh, Gigi can uh, do a better job speaking Spanish than I can. <laughs> hey, it helps to understand a little more than I speak, but at the same time, I am a little disappointed and I do need to improve on that. Look, for everyone's sure. laughing at you. And they're all <laughs> laughing at me. Mrs. Plata, would you like to say something in Spanish? Oh, what would you like me to let's, say? let's see. Uh, I love you with all my heart. Yo te amo muchísimo. Tú eres mi corazón. Oh, mi corazonita. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Spanish lesson for tonight's stream, guys. I just forgot. We have a world coin auction. And guys... <laughs> Charles Kelly says East 108th Street Spanish, and I went to school on East 116th Street, wow. Charles. So you almost got pinpoint accuracy there, Charles. In fact, are you watching me? 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> it is time for the main event of the evening. Item number 30 is a BU 2018 half ounce reverse proof gold lever tad and this is three nines fine gold with a mintage of 1000 on planet earth and the starting bid here is $1400 which is about the going price on Atmex right now but if you want to avoid, I'm sure they won't charge you shipping, but they may charge you tax depending on what state you live in. Uh, so if anyone is interested at the $1,400 price point, here it is. And the nerves are kicking in. And Clay <laughs> says, you can't forget about the detail here. Absolutely stunning coin here. So the starting bid here is $1,400. And unfortunately, guys, that's a firm starting bid. I would not be able to negotiate any lower prices. And uh, only 1,000 of these minted. Sean 47 says, can I trade my wife for it? <laughs> Sean. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. If there are any takers, if not, we'll we'll swap it out with a uh, a different coin. So as a formality, we're gonna count it down here. Going once. Going twice now. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you compare it to the uh, silver Libra tads, you would think that uh, this Libra tad had some uh, work done. And we... <laughs> Okay, we have a last call at fourteen hundred and unsold, unsold, unsold. Fourteen hundred dollars starting bid here. <laughs> so this will stay in the collection a bit longer here. What's going on? Will Lancaster is in the building. Yeah, so that's a $1,400 bid. We are going to uh, pull a uh, substitute here. Let's take a look. All right, we're going to bring this a step down, just a little step down. And we'll see if there's any interest here. This is an NGC graded 1992 quarter ounce. American Gold Eagle, graded MS69. This has a book value of well over $1,000, but I see them selling on eBay for no less than $850. We're going to start the bidding here at $750. $750 if anyone is interested. And guys, if you... Take the time to enter the NGC number here. You will see the value of this coin. It is a low mintage example. 
1992, I believe around 70,000 minted roughly. So if there's anyone interested at 750, be my guest. And thank you for that, Dennis. $750. <laughs> Collective Christmas. $7.50. I wish. <laughs> Imagine that would be one of the biggest steals of all time. If not, we will swap this out for something else. <laughs> Going once. Going twice now. <laughs> Rogelio says it's Christmas season. <laughs> and last call on Soul. So the $750 price point, I'm going to have to respectfully decline Sean47, but thank you for the uh, offer. All right, so we're going to keep this one as well. And we're just going to revert to, let's see here. Well, Sharp Eye, it's an open invitation at $750 if you choose. Uh, but that's completely up to you. Let me know. And let me just put here 1992 so I, I know. Oh, I ran out of ink. Here we go. It's a 1992 there. Quarter rounds. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Bata. What's going on? Thomas Leha's in the building. So we'll just uh all right, we'll do sharp eye. So we're going to swap this out for an eagle. A twenty uh two thousand and eight American silver eagle. 2008 ASE, and we're going to start the bidding here at $25 for the 20, uh, for the 2008 Eagle. And we have Adam at 28. Adam at 28, looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? Hidden taking it to 30. Sean 47 at 31 now. 31, looking for 32, 32. Do we have 32? Hidden taking it to 32, just edging out Rahilio. Rahilio at 33 now. Take note of the condition of this coin as well, guys. There is some uh, scratching on here. We have Rahilio at 33. Going. Wands going to Weiss now. We have Rogelio at 33. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rahilio for $33. Congratulations, Rahilio. $33 for the 2008 American Silver Eagle. And you will receive jackpot entry number 30. We're going to add that to your wallet. All right. Congratulations, Rahilio. So what we'll do, guys, we're going to 
we're going to add five more Eagles to the list here. So if you have any specific years that you're looking for, I will see if I have them available. So we'll do a quick five more items, 31 through 35, will all be different year ASEs. So let's see. I know uh, Rita was asking for the 2012. Let's see if we have one. All right, we do not have a 2012. However, we do have a 2001. So we'll go with the 2001 here. Now, Collective Chris, I do have BU Mercs. However, they uh, some are some may be cleaned based on what I've seen from this batch. So uh, that's why I haven't been putting those particular ones on the auction because uh, uh, BU items that are cleaned, I don't really like doing that. So I can look and see if I have some that I believe that aren't clean. But uh, let's see here. So this is a 2001, and the starting bid is 25. We have Adam Stacks at 28. For the 2001 American Silver Eagle, we have Hidden at 29. That's awfully nice of you, Collective Chris. We have Sharp Eye for Coins at 30 for the 2001 ASE. It is. Let's take a look at the reverse here. Not bad shape. And we have hidden at 31 now. Hidden at 31, looking for 32. Charles Kelly at 32 now. Charles Kelly at 32, looking for 33, 33. Do we have 33? Now, for these five items, we will be giving you different um, entry numbers because 31 and 35 were probably handed out randomly since we only have 30 items. So we have Charles Kelly at 32 going once, going twice now. Charles Kelly at 32. And Dr. Dazed with a sniper alert, duck for cover. Dr. Days at 33 now. I'll tell you what, Collective Chris, uh, for the BU Mercs, I'll do $7 a piece. I cannot guarantee that they're not cleaned, but I'll throw a BU Merc in there as well into the EOS. We have Charles Kelly coming in at 34. Charles Kelly at 34, and Dr. Dazed is out. Going once, going twice now. Charles Kelly at 34. All in, all out. Last call. And so to Charles Kelly for $34. Congratulations, Charles. We will add this to your wallet. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 86. Jackpot entry number 86. And let's add that into the jackpot barrel. Congratulations, Charles Kelly. All right, uh, Collective Chris says it's fine. I'll buy now two, seven per, and put them in the EOS separately. Boom! Collective Chris, with the generosity, not only did he donate $1 face value in Franklin Halves, he is now donating two BU Merc Dimes. We're going to call them uncirculated Merc Dimes because there is a slight chance that some may be cleaned. But we're gonna give it away, courtesy of Charles. Uh, excuse me, of Collective Chris. So very cool of you, Collective Chris. That's gonna bring the jackpot to eight prizes. 
So let me pull the uh, before we get into the next item. Let me pull the uh, BU Mercs here. I'm going to add one as well. So that's going to bring the total to nine jackpot prizes. Three separate uncirculated Merc dimes. Let's take a look here. So there are three uncirculated Merc dimes in the end of stream giveaway. Thank you so much for that, Collective Chris. Donating two Mercs and a $1 face value lot of Benji's. And now I will add one Merc as well to bring the total to nine prizes tonight. All right. Let's put these in flips here. And uh, we're going to pick another ASC. Let's see what we have. Now, I have more than these, but I have to uh, remove them from the books. Okay. We have a 2002 ASE. Starting bid is... $25. Take note of the condition. It is in rough shape, guys. It is a wounded eagle. There's no dings on here. However, uh, there is some scraping. So uh, there you see, you can see some scraping on that end as well. Let's take a look at the reverse. Some more scraping. In fact, because there are and scraping on here. I want to uh, take it out of the uh, flip. We have Power of Cheese at 31 now. Power of Cheese at 31, looking for 32 for the 2002 ASE. Going one. Going twice now. Power of cheese at 31. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Power of Cheese for $31. Congratulations, Power of Cheese. We will add that to your wallet. And uh, you will receive jackpot entry number 39 for your win. Congratulations. And it is in there. All right. So now we have three jackpot prizes to add here, courtesy to our courtesy of Collective Chris. And uh, Collective Chris, we're going to just get you down here for the uh, for that purchase. Thank you so much once again. That's a buy it now too. And uh, we're going to get you two entries as well for that. That's a 91 and a 97. 91 and 97. Those are your two entries, Collective Chris. And thank you so much for the generosity, brother. You are incredible. So power of cheese, congratulations. And let's look for another eagle here. Next week's auction, I'm hoping to have a bunch of really nice items as well, including some one-ounce Geigers, maybe even a 10-ounce Geiger, if it comes in in time. All right. Next up is... A 1991 ASE. Oh, Collective Chris, we just auctioned off a 2001. I apologize for that. Let's uh, take this out of the flip, shall we? This is a 1991. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. I do not have any toned eagles at the moment. This is a 1991 ASE starting bid is $25. We have Dr. Day starting, uh, starting us off at 25. We have Hidden at 30, Silver Sacks at 31. 
Here is the condition of the coin. We have Rockzilla at 32, Wesley Kester at 34 now. Hidden at 35, 35. Do we have 36 now? My eyes, I'm blinded. The fluorescent light here. And we have Silver Sacks at 36, just edging out Charles Kelly. Charles Kelly coming in at 37 now. Sorry about the bright light here, guys. Fluorescent light is really picking up this eagle. It's a 1991, and we have Hidden at 40 now. Hidden at 40, looking for 41, 41. Do we have 41? And Splata says, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> it is. And we have Hidden at 40. Going once. Uh, yes, I am Rafe, and I should be getting some next week. Going twice now. We have hidden at 40. All in. All out. Last call. And Sharp Eye with a sniper alert. That's for cover. Sharp Eye at 41. Just in a split second there. Sharp Eye for coins at 41. Looking for 42 now for the 1991 ASE. Going... Wants. Dr. Days says, I have some of the 50 gram Geigers. Very nice, Dr. Days. I'm looking for those for some of those as well. And we have Sharp Eye at 41 going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Sharp Eye for Coins for $41. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. You get the 1991 American Silver Eagle, and you also receive jackpot entry number 53. We have nine prizes in the jackpot tonight. So there you have it, Sharp Eye, and this will be added to your wallet. All right, two more American Silver Eagles here. So I'm going to give you some options here. We have a, uh, uh, in the order, we have a 2006, a 2007, a 2010, and a 2015. So, uh, Majority, the most I see in chat, I will pull that out first, and then we will go to the final one. So two more eagles on this list, and then we will do the Saka Plata jackpot giveaway. Uh, I do not have any slabs with me at the moment, Adam. In fact, the slabs I do have are all half ounce gold and, and a quarter ounce. So uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, so Dr. Days, uh, you do not have to be present because you have items here due to your wins. Uh, but those that do not have active wallet accounts, do, uh, they must be present to claim their prize. All right. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to go with the uh, 2007 American Silver Eagle. And the starting bid is $25. And that is the condition of the coin. 2007 ASE. Starting bid is 25. We have hidden at 30. Hidden at 30. Looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Rita taking it to 32 now. 
Creed at 32, just edging out Charles Kelly. We have Hidden at 33, just edging out Charles for the 2007 ASE. Silver Sacks, they just slap him for calling you a man, Sandy. <laughs> Dr. Dazed coming in at 34 now. Uh, I do have a 2010 American Silver Eagle, Aaron. We can put that up next. We'll put that up next. I'll put a 2010 uh, ASC afterwards. We have hidden at thir uh, thir uh, 40. Excuse me. We have hidden at 40. Going... Wants going twice now. All in, all out. Last call and. Soul to Hidden for $40. Congratulations, Hidden. You will get the 2007 American Silver Eagle. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 55. Congratulations to Hidden. All right. And now the final eagle of the night, guys. Before we get into the jackpot giveaway, here it is, the 2010 American Silver Eagle. Starting bid, $25. $25, looking for, well, we're looking for the opening bid here of $20. For the 2010, we have Aaron bumping it to 30. Dr. Days at 35, hidden at 36. That escalated very quickly. Charles Kelly at 37 now. We have Charles at 37, looking for 38, 38. We have 38 for the 2010 ASE. And Aaron at 39 now. We have Aaron at 39. Going once. Going twice now. We have Aaron at 39. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert, Clay 37 coming in at 40. Duck for cover. Clay at 40, looking for 41, 41. Do we have 41? Aaron says, hi there, Clay 48. <laughs> oh, is that a is that a bid, Aaron? We have Clay at 40. Play at 40, looking for 41 now. Going once. Going twice now. And Charles Kelly with a sniper alert up for cover. Charles coming in at 41 now. Charles at 41. This is the final ASC of the night before we get into the Saka Plata jackpot giveaway. Nine prizes tonight. Charles at 41. Going once. Going twice now. Charles Kelly at 41. And Aaron with a sniper alert up for cover. Aaron and Clay trying to snipe. I'm seeing Aaron on the screen first, just edging out Clay 37. 
We have Aaron at 42, looking for 43, 43. Do we have 43? Going once. Aaron at 42. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Aaron for forty two dollars. Congratulations, Aaron. It's $42 for the 2010 ASE, and you will receive jackpot entry number 72. So there you have it, jackpot entry number 72, and it is in there. All right. And it is in your wallet. Congratulations. All right, so Collective Chris, I know you asked about the uh, the uncirculated Mercs. Uh, let's see here. Here's what I'll do, guys. Now, I've made it very clear as far as these Mercs are concerned that uh, there is the possibility that some are cleaned. So uh, please note that before purchasing and... Uh, Let's see here. Bear with me. All right. So let's see how many we have here. These are the, the Mercs. So like I said, I got a batch that I noticed some were cleaned. I don't believe all of them are. In fact, I know all of them are not, but some are. So we have to be cautious, guys. Uh, I just want to be... Ooh, look at that. Almost full bands there. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so we're going to open this up to a $7 buy it now. And there are only 10 available. Hidden says that was wiped. Do you think, uh, do you mean that it was dipped, Hidden? Let's see. And Charles Kelly wants to buy them all. Let's take a snapshot. Charles, you got it in first. Let's take a look here. Bear with me here. We have Charles Kelly with the buy now all. So Charles Kelly, you got it. Charles Kelly cleaning house with the uh, buy it now all on the Mercs here. So there you have it, Charles. You get the 10 Mercs. And uh, once again, I do want to reiterate that some may be clean, guys. So uh, that's important to note. But at the $7 price point, you can't be mad at that. So Charles, you get the 10 Mercs. Let's put that down here. Charles Kelly. Buy it now. 10 at $7 a piece. And that's going to get you 10 entries into the jackpot. What's going on, STW Gaming? Is that CCO? Is CCO in the building? Spoon says, you should ask Sock about the books of ASCs. He gets them from Vieira. They have 1986 through 2015. And then that's right, Rita. If you need specific years, or that goes for anyone. If you need specific years, I do still have dates available. Uh, just not on hand with me right at the moment. 
All right, so Charles Kelly. Let's get you 10 entries into the jackpot. And we are going to uh, tag that for Charles Kelly. And let's get you 10 entries here. All right, Charles, your entries are as follows. Number 71, number 78, number 98, number 75. Let's see, Charles. What does Charles say? Give one to the next three people on me, then add two to the EOS. That's awfully cool of you, Charles Kelly. Boom! We have just brought the soccer block, the jackpot, to 11 prizes. Thank you so much for that, Charles. Uh, so let's, let's get the names down in the order that I uh, see them here. We have... All right, let's put give one to Sean47, Dr. Dazed, and Silver Sacks. How about that? That is very cool of you, Charles. Very, very generous. Collective Chris says, you need more ginger. I don't need any more ginger. <laughs> that is very cool of you, Charles. Very generous. What's going on? Muscle shells in the building. And I'm sorry if I missed anyone else joining us tonight. The chat has picked up. <laughs> All right. So uh, 71, 78, 98, 75, 77. That's five. And let's get you five more, Charles. And then we will use the random comment picker to select, to select uh, three more names. Okay. We have... Number 57, number 47, number 87, number 52, and number 65. So there you have it, Charles. Ten entries. Here they are. And we're going to enter them into the jackpot barrel. All right, guys. Now let's pull up the random comment picker. And we're going to select three more names. The jackpot has grown to... Uh, 11 prizes here. All right, Sean, will do. That is awfully nice of you, uh, Charles Kelly. Thank you for that, brother. All right. So let's pull the random comment picker up now. Three more names, 11 prizes. What's going on? Shannon Smith is here. Good to see you, Shannon. Greg King is in the building. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We're going to pull up the random comment picker here. Let's pull it up, and here we go. We're going to refresh. We have 61 unique comments. This is the last chance to get into the Saka Flopper jackpot. All right. Good luck. And we have Brandon Scott. Brandon Scott, you will gain one entry into the jackpot. We will uh, give you that entry shortly here. Congratulations, Brandon. And we have Paul Hampton. Paul Hampton, you will gain one entry. And let's do one more. We have Paul Hampton again. So, Paul, we'll get you the two entries, but we're going to select another name as well. Paul, you will receive number 74 and number 89. And let's pull one more name here. And Rockzilla. Rockzilla, we're going to pick another name as well. Rockzilla, you will get entry number 99. And you have entry number 80 as well. So let's pull one more name. Once again, repeat winners get their entry, but we just pulled another one. Herbert Cox is another repeat entry. And uh, Herbert, you will get entry number 68. All right. Yeah, these random comment pickers are not random at all. Scott Jarvey. Scott Jarvey, you'll get entry number 54. 
Congratulations, Scott. And let's see if we can get a new name. Paul Hampton. Oh, my goodness, Paul. The random comment picker loves you. All right, Paul, you'll get number 90. Come on, random comment picker. Rockzilla, number 44. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Rockzilla, you'll get number 44. And let's refresh here. We may have to figure out another random comment picker. Oh, my goodness. Scott Jarvie. Scott Jarvie, you guys are hijacking the random comment picker. You'll get number 96 here. Oh, did I get Brandon Scott a number? I did not. Mm -hmm. All right, Brandon Scott, you'll get number 94 before I forget here. Brandon Scott gets number 94. Sheesh, how about that? Oh, my goodness. This is, like, unreal. Herbert, you'll get number 73. We're going to give away all these entries to the same people here. There we go. Thomas Leha. Thomas Leha. You have gained entry into the jackpot. That's entry number 31 for Thomas. All right. So there we have it. We just added another 10 entries, but we have 11 prizes tonight. There we go. And it is time, my friends. For the soccer plot, the jackpot. Let's back this up like a dump truck. This is Papa. What, <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> if, if only you guys were a fly on the wall here, you would get squashed by Mrs. Plopper like she did earlier. All right. Here we go. Let's recap all of the jackpot prizes for tonight, shall we? So, jackpot prize number one through three are your choice of holiday gift bags. Each holiday gift bag contains as follows. You get a one ounce copper reindeer. You also get a one gram Geiger silver square. And you get the brand new Sakoplata magnet as well. It also comes with a uh, nice holiday gift card, uh, a holiday greeting card there. So there you have it. Three of those will be given away via the uh, end of stream Sakoplata jackpot giveaway. And the first winner will have a choice of which one they choose. So that's one through three. And uh, jackpot prize four through five are each a one ounce copper round courtesy of Dennis Stewart. First is the bald eagle, then is the panda. And then we have a one dollar face value lot of Franklin halves courtesy of Collective Chris. That's jackpot prize number six. Jackpot prize number seven through 11 are BU Merc Dimes. And uh, let's see here. Two of them are courtesy of Collective Chris. One is courtesy of myself. And two are courtesy of Charles Kelly. So five separate prizes, five separate, uh, separate Merc Dimes. And a big shout out goes to uh, all those that uh, helped sponsor the giveaways tonight. And Sean47 with the $5 super chat. Boom! He says, please put a magnet in my wallet. That is awfully nice of you, Sean47. Thank you for that. I am going to put one in your wallet. And thank you so much for the support. All right, guys. Well, it's time. Good luck, everyone. All right, let's shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, stir it. 
And I want to shake it really good to make sure I get all the uh, entries that were in the bottom. Mix them up as well. All right, here we go. The winner is number 36. Thank you. Number 36 is Rahelio. Congratulations, Rahelio. You have just won one of the holiday gift bags. Now, the question is, which one would you like, Rahelio? Now, you don't have to be present to claim your prize. You do have an active wallet account. However, if you are present, you'll be able to select which one you like. Rahelio says, Woo! Ric Flair is in the building. <laughs> so, Rahelio, let me know if you want Santa, the reindeer, or the snowman. All right, the Santa Claus goes to Rahelio. Congratulations, Rahelio. Rahelio had among the most entries, so the statistics were in his favor, and he came out on top. All right, Rahilio. Next up is for the second holiday gift bag. And the winner is number five. Number five is Dreadpool. Dreadpool, congratulations. You have just won. A holiday gift bag. Dreadpool, are you here? You do have an active wild account, but if you're here, you can pick. If not, I'll just pick at random or I'll have Mrs. Blotta pick. Uh, Dreadpool, congratulations. And if you are not here, we'll just select one for you. All right, which one, Mrs. Blotta, for mm. Dreadpool? Snowman. All right, the snowman. Dreadpool, you'll get the snowman. So congratulations, Dreadpool. You also get the one-ounce copper round, the one-gram Geiger silver square, the soccer plot, the magnet, and the holiday greeting card. So that is uh, Dreadpool. All right, let's do... Bag number three. And the winner is number 68. Number 68. Let's take a look here. Number 68. I think it's on the other page. That is Herbert Cox. Herbert Cox, congratulations, Herbert. You have just won a holiday gift bag. Now, Herbert, you do not have an active wallet on the channel, so I need you to be present here to claim your prize. And, uh, you know, it is one of the more unfortunate things that I hate doing on the channel, but I do have to stick to the rules here. So let's... Uh, Pull up the timer. Herbert Cox, are you here? Oh, there's Dreadpool. Congratulations, Dreadpool. You have uh, just won a holiday gift bag for the End of Stream giveaway. All right, let's start the time here. Herbert Cox, 30 seconds, Herbert. I do appreciate you guys inquiring about how much the magnets are. Thank you so much for even wanting to, uh, you know, pay for a soccer block, the magnet. That does mean a lot to me. Um, uh, I'll leave it open to a uh, donation of your choice of any amount at all. So whether it's a penny, a dollar, whatever, that's perfectly fine. All right. So sorry, Herbert. Um, uh, it's unfortunate that you are not here, but we do have to pick a new winner here. So let's see who gets the holiday gift bag. 
And the winner is number 15. Number 15 is Spoon. Congratulations, Spoon. You have just won the holiday gift bag. This is the third one. And you will receive a one ounce copper round. You will receive a one gram Geiger Silver Square. You will receive a sock of lot the magnet. You will receive a greeting card as well. Congratulations to Spoon. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Oh, Collective Chris, you are incredible. Collective Chris just donated a dollar to give a magnet to Hidden. And Collective Chris, I'm going to make sure you get one as well. So thank you so much for that. Collective Chris and Hidden, we'll make sure you guys get a magnet as well. And if anyone is interested and, and uh, wants to donate for one, whatever dollar amount is perfectly fine. Uh, and I do appreciate you even wanting to. So that's really, really cool. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, my goodness. So behind the scenes, and I hope I can read this out loud, but if not, I apologize. But you know I have to sing your praises. Silver Sack says, can you take my gift bag and put it in Rahilio's wallet and say it's for Sandy? Boom! Silver Sacks paying it forward to Rahilio. Oh, my goodness. That is very cool, Silver Sacks. Now, Silver Sacks, I, uh, I have... I, Let's note that down here. Just in case, if you can send me an email, just so I can have it on my email, so I can uh, make sure that I transfer the, the holiday gift back from yours to Rahilio's wallet. That's very, very cool. And, uh, you know, I have the gift bag separate, so I'm not jamming them in the wallets or damaging them. So uh, if you could, Silver Sacks, that would be very helpful. Thank you so much for that. That was very generous. How cool is that? All right, Collective Chris says, read Charles. A lot going on here. I'm sorry if I'm missing anyone. Oh, my goodness. Charles Kelly. Charles says, add 20 to my total and give one to Rafe, Silver Sacks, Paul Hampton, and Sparkle Flair. That is incredible. Rafe, Silver Sacks, Sparkle Flair. And Paul Hampton, incredible. You guys are unbelievable. Charles, thank you so much for the support. Adam as well. Adam Stacks, thank you guys. Wow, this is amazing. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. See what just started, Sean47. Oh, wow. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really does mean a lot to me. That touches me. I love this community. I really do. I am happy I found all you guys. Wow. I am flustered. I don't where are we? Did I, I completely lost track of everything here? Okay. We are up to the copper rounds, courtesy of Dennis Stewart, and we still have a bunch of prizes to still give away. So let's get to it, shall we? And Rahelio paying it forward. He says, take one of those Geiger squares from my from uh from one of those holiday bags and put it in the EOS. Incredible. It's crazy in the chat, guys. I'm sorry if I'm missing you all. That's awesome, Rahelio. Rahelio just added a 12 jackpot prize. Wow. All right, Rahelio. That's the Geiger. One gram Geiger. Incredible.
All right, let's pull the <laughs> let's pull the one gram Geiger out here, guys. You guys are incredible. Twelve jackpot prizes. My voice is is almost gone. It's already starting to uh, fade. All right, Rogelio. Shout out to Silver Sacks, Rogelio Collective, Chris, Charles Kelly, Dennis Stewart, Sean Forty Seven, Adam Stacks. Thank you guys so much for the support. All right, we're going to give away the uh, one ounce copper round courtesy of Dennis here. So let's let's pick a winner. And the winner is number 67. Number, oh my goodness, number 67 is Rahilio. <laughs> Rahilio with another win. That was coin karma, instant coin karma. Even Ethan is, is going wild right here. That's right. Rahilio just won a bald eagle. Congratulations, Rahilio. That's a one ounce copper ball eagle courtesy of Dennis Stewart. How about that? All right. Next up is for the one ounce copper panda. And the winner is number 26. Number 26 is Adam Jam. Adam Jam, congratulations. You have just won a one ounce copper panda, 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 panda. Adam Jam. And we are going to add that with your items. Congratulations, Adam Jam. How about that? All right, next up here. Uh, Dreadpool, I think you asked for your total. I'm seeing uh, $10 here. Dreadpool, I think your total is $10. Let's just make sure. Uh, yes, that's correct. So it's $10. All right, we'll do a Sparkle Flare. We did send your package out, I believe, yesterday. So uh, we'll start you a new wallet. All right, this is for the $1 face value lot of Franklin Habs, courtesy of Collective Chris. And the winner is number 31. Number 31, let's take a look here. It is not going to represent the lot number this time because we only have 30 items originally on the uh, auction list. Let's take a look. Number 31. We are looking. We are searching. Thomas Leha. Thomas Leha. Are you here? Thomas Leha. You have just won the $1 face value lot of Franklin half dollars. Thomas Leha. Congratulations. There he is. He says, boom. Congratulations, Thomas. Thomas Leha. All right. <laughs> Hidden is having a quite quite the beef with the uh, random comment picker. I'm not too happy with the random comment picker as well because it gave like eight of the same people multiple entries, but Thomas Leha with one entry took home the prize. So congratulations, Thomas. Now we have five Merc Dimes, uncirculated Merc Dimes, and a one gram Geiger remaining. Six more prizes. So here we go. And the winner is number 55. Number 55 is hidden. hidden congratulations <laughs> hidden says finally something goes my way congratulations hidden 
you get the uncirculated Merc Dime. And uh, that was courtesy of Collective Chris. Shout out to Collective Chris for the generosity. And this is the next one courtesy of Collective Chris as well. And the winner is number 39. Number 39 is Power of Cheese. Power of Cheese, congratulations. You have just won a uncirculated and uncirculated Merc Dime courtesy of Collective Chris. All right. Next up is uh, another BU Merc. And then we have two BU Mercs courtesy of Charles here. And then a one gram Geiger courtesy of Rahilio. And the winner is number 35. Number 35 is Coin Silver. Congratulations, Coin Silver. A second win this week. Coin Silver. You get the the uh, uncirculated Merc Dime. All right. Congratulations, Coin Silver. Next up is one of the two Merc Dimes courtesy of Charles Kelly. And the winner is number 51. Number 51 is... Brad Bird. Congratulations, Brad. You have just won a BU Merc Dime courtesy of Charles Kelly. All right, Brad. We're going to add that to your wallet, Brad. Congratulations. All right. One more BU Merc courtesy of Charles. And the winner is number 10. Number 10 is Rahelio once again. Rahelio, a third prize. Congratulations, Rahelio. You get the BU Merc courtesy of Charles Kelly. And we're going to add that to your wallet. How about that? All right, the final. Item is courtesy of Rogelio. It's a one gram Geiger. Last one of the night, guys. Good luck. And the winner is number 57. Number 57 is. Charles Kelly. Congratulations, Charles Kelly. That's Coin Karma as well. Charles Kelly, you get the one gram Geiger square courtesy of Rahilio. So Rahilio won Charles Kelly's prize, and Charles Kelly won Rahilio's prize. How cool is that? That is awesome. Coin Karma is real, guys. There's no doubt about it. Oh, wow. How about that? 11, was that 11? I think that was 12 jackpot prizes. Charles Kelly says, boom, pick again. I have 10 from you. All right, we're going we're gonna to pick it. We're going to pick again here. We are going to pick again uh, the one gram Geiger square. Charles Kelly's paying it forward to someone else. Awfully nice of you, Charles. All right, here we go. And the winner is number 27. Number 27 is Spoon. Congratulations, Spoon. That is a second prize for Spoon tonight. And Spoon, you will get the one gram Geiger Silver Square. Congratulations to Spoon. And guys, I am at a loss for words. 12 prizes tonight. We started with three. Then Dennis added two. Then we had Collective Chris add three. 
Charles Kelly added two, and Rogelio added one. You guys are incredible. The generosity is just mind-blowing to me, and I really do appreciate your guy, you guys supporting the channel. Shout out to all the winners, the auction winners, the giveaway winners. Incredible. Wow. How about that? Clay says, anyone dislike stickers? <laughs> Incredible, guys. I want to thank you all for joining me tonight on the World Coin Auction. Uh, now, if anyone wants to get a hold of me, you can reach me at ny at gmail.com. That's for anything. Uh, anything, I'd be happy to help. Now, this upcoming Tuesday, we will be coin roll hunting, guys. Uh, we have about 30 rolls remaining in box number one. And uh, if we sell that out, we will get a second box to make sure there are enough rolls available. So, guys, if you're looking to participate in the coin roll hunt, it would be helpful to donate in advance. Just that way you're not left out of the hunt. And it's easier for me to uh, kind of get an idea of how many boxes I should have available. So I do have... Uh, one box already, and uh, I believe there are 30 rolls. So if anyone is interested, uh, a $20 donation would get you four rolls hunted and a soccer spin. And you can see more details on the coin roll hunt. Uh, what's going on? Dove season. Good to see you, Dove. Uh, so that will be this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And let's see here. Uh, so... To reserve roles, all you have to do is send a $20 donation to SockerPlotTheNY at gmail.com. That's via PayPal Goods and Services. Just make a note on the uh, payment that it is for the coin roll hunt, and I'll make sure to get you guys on the lineup. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. We'll have some jackpot prizes as well, as always. And wow, what a fun stream, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Very exciting. And Rafe says, Saka, the, the Tuesdays after next is my birthday. And, yes, you know, Rafe, I'm always practicing. I'm always ready to improve because I believe in you. Gigi gave me a look of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for tonight's stream, guys. Thank if, you, Dennis. If you, have, <laughs> if you have any question, any questions, feel free to reach out to me, guys. If you donated for a magnet, please make sure that I, I have you. I make sure, uh, make sure that I send you a magnet in your wallet or whether it's in an envelope. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my voice is shot, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. It is Freaky Friday night. We're going to call it a night, but I hope to see you guys on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, absolutely, Thomas. We can open a wallet for you, and you can accumulate items until you're ready to have them shipped to you. Uh, hidden, your wallet is ready to go when you are, and that goes for anyone. If you're looking to get your wallet shipped out, all you have to do is send an email to sockablotherny at gmail.com. Just note that it is uh, in the description. Just put wallet in the subject line so I know what it's referring to. And make sure I have your contact information. For anyone that's new, please email me with your shipping email, uh, with your shipping information. Uh, that way I can have that on file as well. And your shipping must match the PayPal unless otherwise discussed previously. So that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here and spending your Friday night with me. And I hope to see you on the next one. That's Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for the Soccer Plot, the Jackpot Coin Roll Hunt. You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>